All right, uh, but guys, welcome back to the Now You Made It Awkward podcast, the actual episode 59, because I said 59 last week and I was wrong, which is the irony with the title, with the identity problems. I literally said the wrong thing after literally writing down the, the correct numbers, so... Yeah, no, this is actual episode 59. Last week was episode 58, which I made sure I showed in the thumbnail, actually. Um, we should get one of those little clickers like that they use in baseball for catching strikes yeah. and stuff. And li literally just click it every time you record an episode so you know the next episode what number or it just, is. Or, or just or have, have the episode listed up in front of me, which would also be useful. You know, just have the channel open so yeah. I can see what was last week. Yeah, but you have like the but if you're labeling them wrong last week or the week before, you see you messed yourself yeah. up. Well, the thing is, I was up to date then. It was just that one gotcha. I fucked up because I mean that was my fourth podcast in a week, so I was like, okay, which number am I on again? Then I specifically say the wrong mm -hmm. fucking number, but also not helped by the fact that Dante delayed the release of the episode that we did, which meant I delayed the episode that we did. So, like, that really would have fucked things up if I had said that was actually... If I claimed that one was 57 and then it comes out after 58, that would have been really fucked up. So that's why I had to fix the numbers, because uh, unfortunately, Dante had to push that one back because he didn't edit it in time. Uh, but it did drop on Monday for anybody who saw that. So if you're listening to the uh, Off the Mo Off the Mats podcast uh, Monday, you would have heard uh, our discussion over there, uh, which was a lot of fun. And I forgot half the shit we talked about because that was, like two and a half weeks ago, three weeks ago. Um, and then uh, I released the the episode that he and I did. I've released that on the same day, you know, on, over here on this channel. So Dante's a good dude. Uh, hopefully get him on on a uh, on a normal recording one day, you know. Uh, but I think I think he's off on Mondays, so we'd have to we'd have to figure that one out. But that's a lot of fun. You know Dante. You're a fan of Dante. And, of course, I am Shoki. You can follow me at all the Shoki-related things in the description down below. And with me today, Ricky has returned. What up, y'all? And uh, you can follow his work for Nerd Rage Radio and their Facebook promos, which uh, you got called out on, uh, <laughs> apparently, on the last episode of Nerd Rage. Because uh, uh, like your videos have not been coming. Um, so, you know, I know you've, not I know you've been super, super busy, mm -hmm. which is also why you haven't been able to be here. Uh, consistently too mm -hmm. so um, and then of course uh, Realm Hatton Project tonight as of this recording is your one year anniversary over there on the Realm of Collectors YouTube channel yep, yep. So. 9 o'clock 9 o'clock ish, ish. Uh, we should call it the 9, nine o'clock itch that's what we just call that yeah. Yeah. so um, and of course uh, Rusty was here last week but he's a little too busy to join us this week so you can follow his Rusty Mechanic stuff down below as well and Mike is out there comic relief crusadering somehow some way and uh dormammu is probably busy with work and or kids so uh it's just gonna be me me and the ricky here this week um let me go check comments i don't think we we do have a new comment and but it's just from it's from dormammu so uh we do have uh, two comments uh one of which is from today's episode that dropped the actual episode 58 um Okay, so that's the title of this one, Actual Episode 59. That's the title for this episode. Um, that was Dormammu, he said, Now you made it meteorolog... Jesus Christ. Meteorological with Shoki is a podcast idea. I'm like, no, I, we're not going to do that. I'm not going to sit here and talk weather and stuff. Even though I've continually talked about how fucking hot it is. Um, which today, not too bad. But I also got off work earlier. Um, oh, it, it's baking here right now, and I want to be in that pool. Yeah. So bad. Here I am talking. Dude, just get you one of those good floating chairs so you can just like be sitting up so your your earbuds don't have to worry about it. Just sit. I didn't get in there with the kids, man. We'll be making so much noise. In the I didn't say with the kids. I'm just talking about you on the podcast, chilling in the pool. Um, and then uh, Oliver on the uh, Dante and the PVC time machine, uh, Jay, otherwise known as Jan Goza, uh, said time travel in movies only or do video games like the Journeyman Project count? I don't think that was a complete idea, because uh, we. I think he's asking y'all specifically what you're talking. Well, because the thing is, it wasn't a question; it was more of a statement. Because we did ask what which version of time travel do other people prefer, so we asked for comments on that. So. I think it's all stupid. Or video games like this. Oh, okay. I see what he's saying. Uh, he was. You're right. He's asking which way, movies only or the video games count. 
So to to answer that right. question, Jay, that would be yes, anything would count I, in in media. And the funny thing is, I did actually mention the Journeyman Project video game because I played that way back in the day, which was kind of a time travel James Bond sort of, uh, for, not even a shooter. But then you also, when you say in media, you also add in books and comic books, and that's a lot of different. Yeah, stuff. because well, a lot, hopefully, hopefully anything from comics or books would be translated to screen accurately. So if it if it isn't, then that matters. Um. But yeah, no. Well, the hard part about uh, depicting time travel, and let's say really spell it out, you know, the hard part is, of course, visualizing what an actual time. Because in the Five Nights at Freddy's books, there's a time traveling ball pit. You went like somebody in like the year two thousand something or other goes into this ball pit at a pizza place and ends up back in nineteen eighty three. So like, just for no reason whatsoever. The hardest part about time travel, no matter where they put it at, is time travel is strictly theoretical. It can never. According to the science, well, that we reverse have now. time travel is theoretical. Yeah. But they're saying it, it's all it's theoretical. So anything you say in a movie that proves time travel working, there'll be a whole subset of scientists saying, "Nope, this is why that." Doesn't well, I think work. that's one reason why and movies would never depict it as true. Like it, because they, because I think if if we had the ability to time travel, we sure as hell wouldn't be telling people about it in movies. Not not in a way that was functional. I forgot what I was like doing. the Avengers one. Well, well that, that was already playing with fictional. That was that was super, mm-hmm. super fictional. But like the idea of it was fine. It was just like the it's the how. It's it's not so much the how. It's the what. Like because the mm-hmm. how is what always change. It's the what that that makes more difference. So like you have a time machine that basically only functions because it shrinks you all down to the point that you can travel through the quantum realm that you can navigate. You know you you have ability mm-hmm. to navigate it. There's no machine as it were you know but the quantum realm wasn't invented by comic books that was a no no no, but, no no i know that but i'm just saying like the way the, the i'm talking that's why i said the way is not as important as the how because yeah. the, or i'm sorry you know what i mean the the what mm-hmm. not is more important than the how because the uh backwards time travel is dumb to begin with like that's that's the one you'll never be able to figure out in a in a proper way Especially if you're like what we were talking about with like looping back, like in uh, the movie Dante and I were specifically talking about with Primer. You know, those guys were basically the whole the whole story basically takes place over the course of like four days, like realistically four days. But they keep going back a few days or one day, you know, or or twelve hours or whatever in the same mm-hmm. quote unquote the same timeline, which is like greatly debated even about that movie. Like, is there legitimately this only the one timeline and they just keep basically dogpiling into it? Or is every time they go back a new timeline, even though that new timeline has the, all the aspects of the previous timeline? And all, it's that's when it gets fucking complicated. When, and then you get into causal loops, which that one apparently didn't have a whole bunch of causal loops in it. Um, but it had paradoxes, but then they prove paradoxes aren't real or they are real, just depending on point of view as it goes. Mm-hmm. Um, Nobody better tell, tell Fry that paradoxes are real. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, Fry's his own grandpa. Right? Yep. So, oh, and uh, by the way, Futurama's back. I forgot to, we didn't drop that in the notes. Futurama has come back from its second, I think it's second retirement. Third. I third? think it's third. Now. Well, I think it's third. Think, it's back for the third time. I think it's what they're back from their second retirement. I think it got canceled twice, and then it actually finale once. That might be right. It's hard to it's hard to know because Family Guy did the same I thing. I think it got canceled from Fox and moved to Comedy Central or, or Cartoon Network. Either way, and then it got canceled again and brought back one last time, and then they finalized it and did that whole series wrap up with their time loop thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and now it's back. Now they're bringing it back again. Yeah, it's crazy. It's some nonsense. It's probably a time loop of its own thing. I don't know. I think this one's a continuation because it does look like Fry and Leela are married. So I mm-hmm. think it's a continuation of the way that show ended. Which uh, is going to suck because that's one of my favorite endings to a show. I thought it was perfect for yeah, that show. And yeah, it's like, find a way to fuck it up. If you have a good ending, just leave it be. Leave it the fuck alone. Just leave man. it the fuck alone. Um,. So uh, just real quick, uh, do weeks before we get into news and, and this uh, big ass email we got from Jay, um, which by the way, guys, if you want to email us with questions or comments or anything else like that, or topics that you want to discuss, you can do so at now you made it awkward mail at gmail.com. You can be like Jay 
And um, also, like you already heard us do, we'll read comments. And actually, I purposely didn't premiere the new episode so that people would comment instead of being there for the premiere. Because I think that, that it both helps the algorithm and hinders it at the same time. Because if people are there to comment live, then uh, they're not going to comment later. So, you know, right. this way at least it builds a little bit little bit of retention on the, on the other end of it. Um, so the only thing I really want to mention that I've watched was uh, The Machine. So finally watch the the machine, the Burt Kreischer movie. It, uh, bought it on Amazon. Um, it was fucking hilarious. Um, surprisingly good movie. You wouldn't think that like something based on such a ridiculous story with Burt at the helm could be turned into an actual good movie. But it was actually a good movie. It was, and it wasn't like a hundred percent fucking comedy the whole time. But there was obviously lots of comedy in it. Mark Hamill was great as Burt's dad. Um, there was a couple really cheesy parts because they were meant to be really cheesy. Um, but, like, overall, good movie, worth a watch. You know, you can rent it or buy it. Uh, it might still be in some theaters out there uh, if you want to go see it in a big screen. And I'm sure eventually it'll either be for sale much cheaper or, you know, on some streaming service somewhere down the line for the non paying folks. But I wanted to give Bert my money so that he could afford to make more movies because they already have another movie lined up they wanted to do. But. Unless the machine made enough money, that one wasn't going to get uh, greenlit. So, if you want to see fat astronauts, you have to buy the machine. <laughs> That's how it works. Oh, by the way, I do want to say hi to the patrons. Hi, who are watching this. You know, you know, seeing seeing my hair be all messy. You know, Fuck it's okay. Me. Your ugly face is distracting from it. No, no, no. They love that part. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, Laura is going through some stuff, you know, our lovely patron, Laura, who also has so much of the merch. Um, she's going through some, uh, visual problems, like with her eyes. Uh, she had, uh, one, one corrective surgery on one eye. And then I think before she got a chance to get one on her other eye, she started seeing some, uh, or maybe it was the second eye either way. Uh, she started seeing some floaty floaties and then cloudiness and they went in and they looked and they thought that something was going on with the previous surgery. But it turns out that like there was fluid fluid behind her eye that had built up and it was pushing on the, on the retinal, optic. on the optic nerve and basically seeming like basically if, if they didn't deal with it, she was going to have a detached retina. Um, so I think they went in and they sucked out some of that fluid or something like that. Well, she was from what she was telling me. I forgot exactly what she said that they uh, they did. So she's still having some problems, but it's not like one eye quit working. Um, so hopefully that all gets dealt with. And I think that whatever the treatment was, she's got to deal with it for like the next six to eight weeks to make sure her eyes are good because uh, that's something you don't want to fuck up. And she's she's got the kind of job where her eyes are necessary. You know, some people's eyes aren't necessary for the job, <laughs> like this one. I don't need eyes. I don't need eyes for this job. Who the fuck knows? I could read Braille for this, but I don't need to look at Ricky. It's fine. So no either way, I wanted to show off stuff I got today and or recently. Uh, I've been... You're frozen my mind screen, so I don't see nothing, so it's talk fine. it out. Yep. So I got some more NECA stands for figures because uh, apparently a bunch of motherfuckers keep falling over. In fact, I'm looking over at an April O'Neil who are uh, uh, wanting to fall over again. So I uh, got more of these, just the basic round stands, you know. Which which April the, the movie or the the uh, it's actually the uh, the uh, Mirage. Bride, no it's the Bride of Fran Bride of Frankenstein April. She's, gotcha. But she's got no actually that the thing is not propping her up. She's leaning against Raph to keep her from falling. Mm -hmm. um, I also got from BBTS. I got the is this the final one? Yeah, the final Ranger from Lost Galaxy. So Lost Galaxy Pink Ranger. Um, that video uh, should uh, should be dropping, I think, tomorrow morning. Um, so everybody who will hear this a week late. So the, you know what pisses me off about these? And we've talked about Hasbro plenty of times on this. Um, this one comes with all the accessories you totally need and want. The previous one, the Yellow Ranger, came with no accessories that you need or want. Makes no fucking sense. Um they got like it makes no sense that between the releases, uh, for some reason they changed the accessories completely for the same run of Rangers. It makes no goddamn sense, so that you don't end up with all your necessary things. Like, 
you know, like say you didn't get a standard weapon. If you're going all the way back to like Mighty Morphin, right? So you got a Tommy as as a Green Ranger, but no Dragon Dagger. Matt, I'm just like, oh yeah, you, you don't need that. It's not necessary. It's like, no, that's a necessary thing for him to have. No, it's fine. You don't need that. Here's this other thing that he used one time, you know, and you and you you get that as the main accessory. You know, it's stupid. So that pisses me off. The Yellow Ranger, the Yellow Ranger really pissed me off because like she came with a weapon that no reason to have it. And then didn't come with the shit that was necessary. And then didn't come with the right... Came with four hands, two of which are basically Spider-Man hands. Like the webbing, web shooting hands. And I don't know what the fuck those are meant for. Like, it makes no... Those hands make no sense. Which in, ranger did it come with? The yellow, the yellow Lost Galaxy Ranger. Is that like some like hand gesture she makes when she's doing the like ninja movement? It, m- like, maybe, but focus? like the fact that she's given a big ass weapon to hold, but not a hand that is meant like a full on gripping hand. It's the fucking Spider Man hand. It makes no fucking sense. She comes with one fist, two Spider Man hands, and one karate chopping hand, but no normal uh-huh. holding hand, no sword holding hand. Which you know the sword that she fucking needs, she doesn't come with, um, because they all have a sword. That's their morpher. Their sword is their fucking morpher from that thing. So she comes with the compact version, but not the extended version that uh, three out of the five Rangers came with. Did maybe checking all of Kimberly's because Kim, you said Kimberly came after hers? Or no. Pink Ranger came after her? No, no, no. This is, this is a different series entirely, though. But I'm saying that Pink Ranger you got there came after that other one? Yes, came after the, the, the other yellow one, yes. So maybe in that accessory kit, there's a little blue pill, and if you put it in with the yellow one, you get the full extension. Don't think so. Yes, I got your reference, but no. Um, I did pick this up today because Target Target has all the new, I guess, I don't know if it's Holothon or whatever it is, all the new Ninja Turtle shit out right now. And I don't actually collect this this section, the Mirage Comics stuff. But I picked I mean, that splinter does look cool. The splinter with the little baby turtles was actually too cool to pass up because I could make like a little tiny mini diorama for that, and I'll be okay with it. Mm-hmm. But he, he does look neat, um, and like it just I dug it. And they also had the shredder that had like the torn up thing, and they had the ultimate. Oh, but it's heavily cell shaded. Oh, yeah, but that's the point. It's well cell shaded. I like, know. comics. Uh, but like I don't need anything else. I'm just keen on on this so like i was thinking about you know because i have my movie stuff over there and i was thinking about like once i get like the sewer den set up and everything else like that like i'll take one little corner of the shelf and have it almost like a dream like you know the way back when you know flashback that might be fun work and then i got also today speaking of bride of frankenstein found the bride of frankenstein because apparently like neca is like Hey, these new figures. Let's actually put them on the shelves instead of making you look all over for months on end, even though they've been out the whole fucking time. So, you know, I don't need a whole lot of the Universal Monsters, but I have Frankenstein, so might as well have the bride, right? Um, And she's actually pretty cool. Like, three different heads. uh, Three different heads, a few different hands, some wrappings. I don't know. Is that another... Is that just her whole ass dress? There's like... Looks like there's extra fabric down in there. Interesting. I don't know what that is. Oh, and you could totally remove the... Well, I guess it's not a dress. It's like a gown, like a medical gown. Um, and she's just like a mummy underneath, which is kind of cool. Yeah, she wears all his gauze and old... Yeah, before she dies, basically. So she doesn't have anything yeah. else. Um, or kills herself, whichever way it technically it was back in the D. Mm-hmm. Oh, and NECA... Well, she, I think she kills herself. Yeah, I think she does too when she realizes. Like, she, she, she sees Frankenstein freaks the fuck out, basically. Um, and no, it's when she sees the it's when she sees the monster killing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Because it's, it's hard to remember. Because the bride is what the third movie or second movie? Yeah, something like that. But it's, I think remember. it's when oh. she sees she sees him killing people or some nonsense like that. Mm, okay. It's been a while, so I don't remember. Um, or he finds out, or he finds out she's she finds out he's killing people to get her better parts or some crazy shit like that. I don't remember. Or maybe that, or maybe that he killed people to have her exist you know uh but in the old in the old original mary shelley he freaks out when he finds out the dude like he's trying to force frankenstein to build him a wife yeah and then when frankenstein destroys it that's when he flips out and goes on his rampage yeah because they they replicated that in mary shelley's frankenstein the movie 
Yeah, you know, which is one of the few ones that actually is somewhat close. That's, is that the one with De Niro? That's, that's one with De Niro. Said. Yep, yep, that's exactly right. Um, I did get the uh, Phantom of the Opera Casey Jones, and then, of course, immediately found it in store as soon as I got it in, because <laughs> that's the way it fucking works. Um, <laughs> but he's pretty cool. You know, I haven't even opened him yet, so none of these things I've opened yet. Because uh, it just got. Are, are you getting the turtles and time turtles? No, no, I don't need all that. Uh, I like it, but no. Yeah. Sorry, I put all this shit I'm, on the I'm, floor. I'm fighting the urge to pull the trigger on them just because I mean, I, that movie is dumb, but I remember having those. Oh, the, 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 the TMNT 3. Yes. Yeah. Not, you said turtles in time. I'm like, no, I didn't get the video game with. No, I ordered the four pack. Um, you did? Yeah, because I like the I'm Samurai Turtles. Them. They look so fucking yeah. good, dude. They're perfect. I, Mm-hmm. I loved them in the movies, and I'm still just fighting the urge that, not to pull that, the that movie is crap comparatively, yep. but they look really good. And it, they actually, those three come or four come with new heads for the previous turtles. So, like, yeah, actually, all, well, I know, but so I'm saying, good. like, but they come with new heads for the old turtles so that you can have more expressions on them, you know, because I've got, I've got multiple sets of turtles now. So, I, you know, I don't have the. I don't have the TMNT two turtles, so they wouldn't help me. Yeah. I have the first. One. Well, because the bodies are the same, but you can just swap the heads. Yeah. No, they have the, their their coloration slightly different. Yeah, but not enough that you would the head swap wouldn't be that bad. I would know. The, but I got the I bought the accessory set that has yeah. all the head swaps in the first one. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And I did give me a Dracula. I got me the mm-hmm. finally. Fi- I was like, once again, came in stock and then found at the same time as Casey Jones. Um, is that so, a Boris Karloff? Dracula? Yeah, this is a Boris Karloff, but like I couldn't find the color version. I can only find the black and white. Uh, I was just about to ask you that next. Yeah. Yeah. So like because I, I I gave up on the black and white ones at Frankenstein, so the only so the only thing I'm doing there is I got the black and white one on the accessory set. So like the whole table. So like because the head just swaps out and you cover the rest of the body. Who will ever know that's the black and white one, right? So okay. if I had the Frankenstein diorama, I'll have like him normal him on the table the bride and then stuff like that i also i didn't need it but i found the dracula accessory set which is pretty cool but i mean it's basically just a coffin and a couple animals it's like it's kind of dumb it's like don't give me a cool candelabra or something like to like decorate and i was like but i mean the coffin's cool enough but i mean that's like barely more than what the the mummy set comes with right Speaking of which, my damn. Oh, it is a slight retool of that mummy case eh, it's a major retool that that's that uh because like the it's a coffin shaped coffin instead of a sarcophagus that's like shaped and everything else like that, because the, the the mummy one is actually pretty neat. It's like just that huge ass sarcophagus and it's not light. But like there's no thought, wolf I thought about set. getting that. I thought, well, what are you gonna get a fucking tree and some fucking a big moon to put in the background? What are you gonna get for the Wolfman set? Well, isn't there that scene where like he's in the operating room or whatever when he transforms, or is that? Don't make me fucking lie. I always remember him changing in the woods. Oh, you could you could totally get a you can totally get like the gypsy the gypsy stuff, you know. Yeah. That'd be cool. True. Um like a wagon or whatever. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Dude, that'd be awesome. Not gonna lie. That'd be pretty fucking cool. Like or at least like a half one is like a diorama set, so it's like up against the wall. But like the I uh, thought about hunting back that sarcophagus, just the sarcophagus, because Mezco just announced their Indiana Jones, which I'm definitely fucking getting because it looks yeah. a thousand times better than the Hasbro one. Yeah. And uh, I thought about getting a sarcophagus just to have for a display for him. That'd be pretty cool. Oh yeah, because I looked at the new figures from the Hasbro line, and you have like the the build a uh, build a table yeah. for build the art build a artifact. Yeah, but it's like you're you're building the table decoration and everything for the the Holy Grail, which is actually kind of cool because it comes with everything on the table and the mm-hmm. table plus all the different grails. I was like, yeah, but the figures are trash, though. Yeah, but like the fact that you're kind of building a diorama to a degree that would go with <laughs> most of those, not all of them, because like the the mix of figures makes no sense there, especially considering they're like, hey, we know you didn't really want Mads Mikkelsen from the new movie, but he comes with the base of the table, so you know it is what it is. Um, what was the other thing I was thinking? Uh, oh, uh, NECA did finally show off their creature from the Black Lagoon. Looks fantastic. Definitely going to pick that one up. That'll be the last Universal Monster I need. Um, and actually, because I got Casey, now I don't need any more until they and finally do Shredder as Dracula. I don't need any more of the TMNT crossover stuff either. Um, they, um, I, they recorded part of Black Lagoon where I live at. Yeah, totally. 
Because, like, the funny thing is, back when I was in elementary school, they had all these books on the Universal Monsters. And they were, like, the, not only breaking down the movie itself, um, you know, and it was kids' books, so, you know, there were pictures and stuff like that. But, mm-hmm. you know, they also had, like, stuff behind the scenes, like, you know, where this was filmed, you know, Boris Karloff mm-hmm. having to sit there and do however much makeup and, you know, this kind of stuff like that. And that's how I learned about any of this stuff. I never saw any of the movies, which was crazy, but that's how I knew all of that. Because I would get the Frankenstein book, because it was pretty cool. I liked the Frankenstein book. You know, Creature from the Black Lagoon, you know, Dracula, all those, Wolfman. Got the, all, they had the whole, the whole run of them, as it were. So, and I keep forgetting I have ALF. By the way, I wonder who, who bought that uh, SDCC ALF. Like, I don't know if that was worth it or not. You know, it comes with basically a camera and a new shirt. <laughs> it's like, other than that, he's almost the same ALF figure, you know? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not buying that one. I got the one that... I already got from the store and I'm fine with that one. Yeah. I mean, like, it, it, they do need, a, like, an expansion, ALF expansion set later, you know, because, I mean, like, the figure's not going to change. It's like, nope. hell, his expression doesn't change. You know, there's like, he doesn't even need another head for anything. It's like, all you're just basically going to redress him, you know, essentially, unless they do, like, because, well, they have the, the non-posable cartoon versions that are coming, as far as I know. Not NECA, but if somebody... Because it's like a, mm-hmm. we're seeing an Alf resurgence, as it were. But um, I think that is it. I don't have anything else coming at the moment. Oh, um, I did order that uh, Jada Toys Ryu or Ryu. Yeah. Uh, because I saw reviews on it. But like, I want to get him and Chun Li, and if they do a Ken, I just want those to go with my Power Rangers figures because I needed an unmorphed version. They, they, and they look pretty good and I heard somebody say it's like other than like like in some ways better than like the Storm Collectibles versions but it's like the, I think Bobby was saying something about the hips look weird yeah I bet they do like it's like it's like but I mean I just needed to stand on the bottom shelf with the with the Street Fighter Street Fighter Power Rangers figures and plus it'd be cool just to be able to like take the head oh. and put it on there was it that one that he was talking about? It was either that one or Fei Long. Some, somebody who he was talking about one of them. Oh, it might have been the Fei Well, there was the one because they did the Tekken character. Is that Fei Long? Uh-huh. Yeah. That, one of, them, that one of been the ones it. he talked about when you have it in an A stance, like the hips bulbous out past the actual waist. That, that, looks cool. that might be him because he's skinny. No. Yeah. I don't remember. They at least gave was. Ryu his proper kind of build. You know, not, not like the ridiculous later Street Fighter build, but like the at least Street Fighter 2 build. Yeah. All right. So that's it for me. What you got going on lately? Um, Since you were here last. Uh, I'm gonna list shit. I don't remember if I talked about it already. I got the Magic Square Swindle in. Yep, got that. Uh, he's sitting in foot mode. Um, foot mode. I got started. I have the old DC classic versions of the Reign of the Superman figures. Fuck. I just remembered um, something. Keep talking. Um, and I saw couple of Mafex ones and I was talking to my my dude Eric B he's really into them and I, I talked to him about it in private shout out to Eric broke him down for me. yeah I pulled a, a I went ahead and jumped in on pre-orders on them and then I just got in so I got the cyborg Superman and the steel which are the only ones that have been out so far and then this one I wasn't oh, gonna Black pull Suit. the trigger on yeah I wasn't gonna pull the trigger on it because literally these are his accessories. These are leg swaps. Mm-hmm, these boots mm-hmm. come off in the regular feet. And then these boost effects. That's all his accessories. And he's the same exact price as all the other Superman. And I'm like, oh, the yeah. price is killing me. But but he has the one accessory that the DC Classics doesn't have. Oh, yeah. This magical mullet. The mullet, yeah. Mm-hmm. See, I remember Dormammu talking about it, I think, uh, when you weren't here. I remember he was talking about it, and like the, the lack of accessories was dumb. Yeah. And it, for the, I don't for, the, for the price. For the price. For what he is. Because the only thing in the in the comics and in the book, the only thing that he had was machine guns. Because remember, he didn't have any powers. Yeah, yeah he had no powers but at that point. Was, at the very beginning, when he first comes out and he's going back to uh, Metropolis, he's in like a big, huge mech. He's yeah. like, he rides in a mech underwater because he can't fly. He can't do anything. And so unless they're going to give you that, then they charge you $300 for that damn thing. Or yep. once he's back on on ground and they're fighting, you know, I mean, the, the, the story's 30 years old, so I'm not going to spoil it. No spoilers anything. here. Yeah. When, yeah. When they go to finally fight Cyborg Superman, when they find out he's the bad guy, 
all she has is machine guns. He has like these big, huge, like 50 cows that he walks around with just blasting everybody because he can't do anything. Yep. And that's why he has these boots because he can't fly. So Steel gave him a set of these boots so he could at least use those to fly around. Exactly. So for, for lack of it, for he comes with what he should come with. I'm not going to take away from that. I mean, he's not supposed to come with anything other than guns, and DC is not going to give you guns. No. So. But they should have lowered the price. He shouldn't be the same exact price as those other Superman. Who who was it that was who was making the uh, the weapon sets for oh, fucking Todd McFarlane? Was it McFarlane? He was making. Oh yeah, because yeah. these are, this is the regular DC. This is not McFarlane, right? Uh huh. Well, McFarlane can't put guns with his DC characters. But either, he'll so make he, this set later. He made a, he made an accessory set, and then Mezco kind of does the same things when they put out DC stuff that comes with weapons. They don't do that. Like they had a, they did Gotham by Gaslight Batman, and so what they did is they uh, oh yeah yeah, what, yeah yeah the accessory pack was like the Gothic Detective accessory pack, and it's literally like his grapple launcher and like batter eggs. Like it's all shit you know is Batman's. They just couldn't sell it with Batman or call it Batman stuff. So yeah, exactly. people are trying to find loopholes because that's and, a stupid. And they rule. should because those rules are fucking retarded. Um, yeah. Like, like uh, uh, Red Red Hood. Yes. Like he has he has all of his weapons are guns. Yep. So in I want to say the McFarlane one, he has guns, but they're like sculpt. Though he has empty holsters and no guns. Yeah. <laughs> one of them. That, one of them they put it out. It was sculpted into the holster, so you just couldn't take it out. It's just yeah, just the yeah. handle. Yeah, but then, like, right before that rule came out, like, the DC Universe put out one that I have as a really nice Red Hood. His guns come in and out of the holster. Like, it's nothing that he came with. Yeah. It would be funny. It's a very it, dumb rule. It, it would be funny if they really dummied it up. Like, it was just, like, the the end of just the handle of the gun. And, like, you could still remove it so you could have an empty holster, but there's no gun. There's just the handle. Yeah. That would be funny. Yeah. Sorry, I just Fucking remembered dumb. I had to buy a hat. Um, I forget. Why, why aren't you wearing it? Then? No, I just bought it. Oh. I do order said had new a new one dropped. Uh, t- they've been teasing all week. Like I'm falling for this shit, man. Like, like it, it looks really nice. It's the only reason I went for it is like I own like besides baseball stuff. I think I own four hats, and three of them are the exact same hat. They're just black fitted hats that I use for working around town when I don't want to brush my hair. You're like I got different kind of hat every day of the fucking week for half a month already. Pretty much. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, they because well, the other thing is like I just wanted to make sure I got the hat because it is a they only released this they've only released this particular hat once before and it was a year ago this time and basically it what was it called the uh, for all that matters the the liberty so they did the declaration they did the uh, uh the other one I just got the independence so they did the independence which was the last one I got they did the declaration I skipped that one and then this one is the liberty. And it's like red, white, and blue checkered plaid, you know, but it looks like uh, almost like a tablecloth kind of checkered plaid. It looks really nice. So I was like, mm, fuck it, you know. And if it gets here before, well, actually, there's no way it's going to get here before the 4th, but, you know, at least have some patriotic shit because July 4th is coming up, guys. Yay for that. Hopefully everybody keeps their fingers. I mean, what's funny is, you know, July 4th is Tuesday, right? Upcoming. Mm-hmm. Nobody's going to be doing shit that night. Everybody's gonna do it all weekend, especially if you got Monday off. People are gonna people are gonna be doing it basically Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Nobody, well, most people. I'm not gonna say nobody probably won't do shit actually on the fourth because they'll be like, I gotta work tomorrow. Don't be fucking shooting off fireworks all night, asshole. <laughs> you know, it's like it's gonna turn into another. It's gonna be like Memorial Day or or uh, Labor Day where it's just gonna turn into a weekend ordeal, even if it's on Wednesday. You know, that's what I feel like, anyways. But hey, it means I get a three day weekend for once. That never happens. You never get those yeah. three day weekends. If it like last year, because I think it was on the it was on Monday, I didn't get Tuesday off as a rollover. Maybe come in on Tuesday, but because it's on Tuesday and I have Monday off, I actually get a three day weekend. It's nice. nice. Everyone else gets an interrupted week. <laughs> That's, I laugh at that. It's like it's like all the guys who have to come in and work Monday for like a three quarter day and then have one day off and then come back to a shit show. Basically, is really what it turns into. All right, so what else? You've seen any other movies? Yes, I uh, saw the Flash movie for Father's Day. The kids took me to see that. Okay, so uh, other guys talked about it. What is your number grade? 
just as the movie is? Yeah, just give us your number grade. Five point five. Okay, so pretty much in the middle. Not great. Not mm-hmm. not bad. But the Batman stuff alone is like a nine. Okay, and you mean Keaton Batman? I, not not all Batman. All of it. Okay. All of it that's in there. Like I even like I even like the blue and gray Snyder Batman. Like I had no problem with any of. It. I liked all of it. Yeah. And uh, so if they if they had took that out, like that Batman, none of that Batman stuff was in there. That movie would be like a two and a half or a three. Yeah, so the first, like, the opening, like, 20 minutes or whatever that, that whole opening scene is. Let's get the, 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 and the CGI. It's literally the yeah. CGI that murders that movie, man. That's all I've heard it's, is CG. And, and oh. I, I love their excuse. No, it's meant to look that way. Oh, that's how Barry perceives it. Barry, yeah, that's, yeah, Barry perceives it like PS2 fucking graphics. Come on, it, man. Except, except if you go back to uh, Justice League, when he, when you get the whole scene, everything looks perfect to Barry. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And I, like and, when Batman threw the battering at him and shit, the whole world well, didn't turn into some crappy CGI fuck fest afterwards. It yeah. still looked nice. It was just slowed well, down. Well, even the other scene where like he was in there applying for a job at the pet store or whatever, and then like the accident happens outside, just happens to be with Iris West, and he does that yep. high speed. I, I love how he breaks the window ahead of him with speed mm-hmm. force and goes through the glass. Like yep. all of that, fantastic. Like that is beautiful work. All CG replacement reason, shit. Yeah, for some reason now everything has to be CGI trash. I, I don't. I, and, and dude, they had like an extra what year, year and a half on that, and they didn't do any extra post production. I guess. Okay, they, so well, the very beginning with the the opening part with the babies that everybody talks about. Yeah, this is how bad it was. I, it I've looked seen it. as bad as it looked as bad as or worse than the CGI baby than from Twilight. And that, yeah, was, that was seven years ago, eight years ago, and it was trash back then. The yeah, and these these babies are either exactly the same or worse than that one. Yeah, and that's crazy. And yeah, tw- that Twilight was what twelve years ago, give or take. Mm-hmm. And and the weird thing is that that CGI baby was only freaky because they had it like emote like an adult instead of emoting like a baby. And like yeah. if they hadn't gone with the crazy eyes on it too, I think that also would have been the thing. But I mean, that was the whole point of the hybrid baby. They well, had they, different eyes. They had actually took what's her face's face. Yes. And and uh, Pattinson's face, they had blended them together, compute with computer generation, uh-huh. and then they then they'd done the opposite. Uh, they did like a de aging to it, like how when they do like the missing kids thing where they age it up to see how they look now. Yeah, they did. They did that like in reverse. So Is that they what blended they did? their two faces. Yep, they blended uh-huh. their two faces together, and then they ran it backwards, and that's what that baby's supposed to. So look like. I I always thought that they just took the the actual actress that played her later when she more grew up and then they just CGI'd a younger face of her. I wouldn't swear on a stack of Bibles, but a video I was watching, that's how they if, if that's, I mean, that makes sense. Which also, yeah, but which I, still, yeah, <laughs> but then the idea that like, you know, cause you, the weird part is that how, how that could have turned into someone who looks like a real actress, which of course that actress is still working Hollywood today, you know, much older now. But uh, don't even know her name. But you know her her start is in one of the more embarrassing movies of that era. Not a terrible movie, but slightly embarrassing if we're honest. But you know I agree with you on that. I've seen the CGI baby scene on online. I'm like, oh my god! Like why? Like it makes no sense. Like every everything should. It, and I guess if they want to say that everything would be blurry to Barry or his perception would be skewed, it's like no, everything would be perfect oh. because nothing would look like it's moving. Which is basically what we see at any other point with the Flash. If he's moving super fast, either everything else is moving super slow and like should be crystal clear because his perception should be significantly faster. If it was blurry, that would mean his perception is slower than reality or looks wonky. Like, So is he just always in a fucked up state because of the speed force? You know, something like that. And like I've seen some of the CGI in that movie that actually looks pretty solid, but then like other stuff is like, what the fuck were they thinking? You know? Pause for message sending. What happened for message sending? Hmm? I thought you were sending a message or typing something. Uh, I was. I forgot to turn my camera off because I, I don't mean to throw you off when I'm doing it. Yeah. Well, you stopped talking anyway, so actually, you, me seeing you, you do it talking. is better. Yes, but me seeing you, you do talking. it is actually better because then I know why you're not talking. 
Um, so I'm not gonna remove that or not. Who cares? Yeah, but you're on a you're on a Twilight kick, and I don't. I've literally only ever seen the first one. My the, the ex-wife, fir- when we were still married, she was huge in the Twilight. Yeah. She got me. She tried to trick me. No, I will tell. I mean, I'm so many red flags, and this is another one that I should have thought. <laughs> okay. She tried to tell. Like, I would not watch them after that one because I thought it was too girly, stupid, teenagery shit. But I didn't care if she wanted to watch them. But then she's like, "Oh my god, you got to watch this last one. It's so much better." And she skips to the part with the big, huge battle. The big battle, everybody- which is fantastic. Yes. Yeah where everybody's getting murdered and i'm like oh fuck yeah this is badass where the fuck was this for the rest of the fucking movies and then all of a sudden it cuts to the all it was just a dream bullshit yeah and i'm like oh well fuck you and fuck this movie and i left the room (laughs) yeah well without without any setup yeah that would be a horrible fucking flip but actually like if you watch all of it it totally makes sense and is a decent decent it doesn't matter if it makes sense it was the only part of any of those movies that was cool well, no, there was there were some other cool battles that happened in, in uh, like the I forget if it was the second one. There's another one where they have a really good fight and like they rip the one of the other vampires apart and shit like that. That's pretty fucking cool. But like the first one is definitely the worst. It was shot the worst, acted the worst, everything about it was fucking horrible. It got better after that. It's, they're not good. They just got better. I will yeah. never find out because I'm not gonna watch yeah. them. Well, I mean, I, the ones I just, I watched them because of my ex as well, you know, because she was watching them. But I didn't want to watch them because I, I visited a friend and they were watching the, uh, in the first one, the baseball scene, which is so goddamn bad. It is so bad. And I'm like, this is fucking retarded. I never want to see any of this again. I'm not giving any credit to this. And then, I, of course, I you know got a girlfriend and she wanted to see it. So I'm like, okay, fine. So we watched from the second one on and I'm like, Oh, this is so much better, like than what I saw from the fucking first one. And then I went back retroactively and watched the first one. I was like, "Yep, this is still garbage." But you know, if you need the setup, you need the setup. But I think they give you enough in the second one to be like, "Okay." And then, Ugh, um, gross. let's see. For also for Father's Day, they got me two other things. Uh, they got me John Wick Four to finish out my set of John Wick. Yep. Um, and then they got me. This is probably my favorite thing I got. A uh, long time ago, I talked about getting a tattoo done um, on my on my back of my leg. Uh, I wanted to get uh, an animated series Batman mm-hmm. with like a chibi looking version of Miles Morales coming down on a web and like using webs to make Batman smile, and then having a chibi looking Hulk like shaking his leg on the other side. And that was supposed to be me and my the boys. Are you saying that chibi? Was their yeah. Okay. Like the little uh, no, I'm just cartoon. making sure that's what you're saying because I was hearing yeah. TV, but then that didn't yeah. make sense to what you were saying. So, yeah, like the chibi ones. Yeah, like yeah. The, Not not necessarily straight chibi, but kind of cartoony. Kitty yeah, looking. cartoony kitty looking. Yeah, no, I, under, yeah. I understand what you mean now, but like in my head, I'm like TV. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. So it was supposed to be me and the boys. Well, I just never got it done, and I still might get it done. It's not ever been. A, I'm not doing it. I just never got it done yet. Mm-hmm. But uh, Kara had found online. It's a she had it made up as a T-shirt. Oh, and nice. it's actually, it says, like, world's best dad. And I think it's an American flag. Don't hold me to that, like, in the background. And then in the foreground, it has Batman walking away, holding the hands of a Spider-Man and a Hulk. But with human heads, it has the back of all of our heads on it. Yeah. And then it has our, it has our names underneath the characters. That's cool. Yeah, so I thought that was really cool. That was my favorite thing I got. So, yeah, that's pretty neat. Me, if you got a picture, yeah. if you got a picture of it, send it to me before I edit this. I can insert it for the Patreon. Oh, you don't have to do it right do now. It. You don't have to do it right now, but yeah. Watch this. Unless man. you have the it. shirt nearby. I mean, it's hanging up. Okay, so. yeah, but yeah. No, uh, get a picture of it and send it. I'll put it up here for because it sounds really cool. Because I was just thinking, is like we know plenty of tattoo artists. We could probably hit up and pay for the design. You know, yeah. if they want to draw, draw it out for you, that'd be pretty cool. Boom. All right. There you go. <laughs> um, uh, anything else? Um, trying to think if anything else is coming. Uh, bu- 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 uh, I'm uh, yeah, I'm trying to. So that's that. I already, I already had the two gargoyles before, right? Yeah. Uh, Brooklyn and Bro- Broadway. Oh, uh, um, my Steel Clan came in to BBTS. 
I canceled mine. They they tried to tell me it's coming, and by now I'm just kind of burnt on the gargoyles. So I just want the main the main yeah. crew now. I'm like I'm gonna get the 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 was it five or six main guys, mm-hmm. and then Xanatos. I thought it was interesting okay. that Steel Clan came before Lexington, but is what it is. Yeah. And I, well, I'm, it doesn't surprise me. They're literally just repaints and slight retools of Goliath. They put hell. They slight? put Thalog. <laughs> yeah, Thalog. They put Thalog out like almost instantaneously at the same time, and Thalog was late well, in the he, game. At least he's. It, but I mean, like he's at least a direct repaint, so that's easy. Like but, Steel Clan but, has is a whole new mold. Yeah, but Thalog came out before uh, uh, Alyssa or Lisa, whatever her name is, Everybody. Maza. Yeah. Came out like all these other main Xanatos, like all these other main ass fucking characters, the main gargoyles, and we're getting a Thalog out of it. Fuck Thalog. Yeah, they should have waited like on the, the repaints. Yeah. Oh, I did find the video game Goliath. Uh, in yeah, store. the video game one. Yeah, I forgot about that. But I mean, yeah. that just came out, though. So, I mean, like, yeah. that's something. But I mean, at least he looks cool. I don't need that, but it looks cool. I mean, he looks all right. I'm trying to find. And I don't think I'm trying to remember. Like we've gotten some crap for the pool for, for summer with the kiddos. Um, Let me go look at it here. Uh, you I'm know, trying to remember. The, it's weird. It doesn't show in stock. In stock. Oh, okay. So they're doing the pre-order in stocks, but not for everyone else in stocks. There it look. is for, for the, uh, for the patrons to get to see the cool shirt. Yeah. Nice. And then it has like our names underneath it. So. Nice. So like that's how, what they got me for Father's Day. I like how they all have chunky butts. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, they're all wearing like capes and stuff. Yeah, you can totally see a spider butt. Oop. Hey, a new scam uh, likely call. Yay. Oh, yeah. Just, just throw it on my bed. I'll hang it up later. Okay. Thank you, bud. I mean, yeah. I mean, Steel Clan is an all new mold. There's like nothing reused there. But it looks... uh, it's the same exact head sculpt and same body. All they had to do is everything that was like rounded about... off on. I mean, on Goliath, you just have to flatten it out. No, I mean, like, there's literally, like, there's nothing to... I mean, to call it a remold is is a bit of an exaggeration. It's an all-new mold. Like, cause this, uh, cause, I, mean, like I don't think it's a new mold. you got to think I of all the muscle... Dude, dude, all the muscle definition is gone. Like, you, they're, that's like, what I'm saying. I mean, okay, so all that's rounded off. Like, picture a mold. You have the mold, like, the muscles rounded off like this. All that do is go back in there with a Dremel and flatten it out. Now it's a flat piece of metal. Mm. You know what I mean? But I mean, like, it's, got, it's got big ass shoulder re- pauldrons, retooling, and that's where that that's where the new stuff is at. The stuff that has nothing to do with Goliath would be those things, like that. I mean, it, and like it, it, laser effects and shit like that will be new. I mean, the arms are totally new because they have to have the lasers mold or the weapons molded in. Claws and feet just, are completely just, new. Head mold just completely that new. Part of the arm, that head mold is not new. That, that's literally Goliath's head with flat hair. A flat face, flat hair, flat everything, machine again, parts on the, the side. But that's what I'm saying. It's the same thing. It's the the cheekbones are rounded. All you have to do is dremel that flat, dude. I'm telling you, they do that kind of shit all the time. They, no, they, this, they this, just retool the molding. This is additive. This isn't. I mean, like it has a huge metal collar. It's got it's got all new armor around the chest. It has no abs. And it's if you look nothing. at and if you look at all if you look at all that stuff, that stuff will be added on parts that like clip or glue into place of on the goliath body nah this is all, we'll look at it when it comes out yeah we can it's look all at it. brand new control. mold i mean like it's just that's okay. what it is it's all a brand new mold like okay. th- this the thing is like you couldn't i mean if you want to use it as a, a the i mean they all have the same basic body buck just whether or not it's bigger or smaller that's that's no different but the this is a whole new mold entirely like this that's the okay. thing but I mean, they're gonna milk the shit out of it because, like, they they can you can buy as many of those the army build, and then you get the Xanatos armor mold directly. You can't from buy them. how many ever you want. You can only buy five of them if you're doing it properly because it's just the it's just they end up with the same amount as. The, well, I think there were more in the future. In the future, were they? Episode. They built like a whole army out of them. Yeah, I think, I think that version there was a lot more. But then the Xanatos one is the same thing, just in red. That's what I said. That's the only repaint from mm-hmm. that one. And then you just slap a Xanatos head on it. Otherwise. That's it. But and I you mean, just like, take your extra Xanatos head from your Xanatos body and just slap it on there. Yeah, but I mean, like it's it's the same it's the same shape of a gargoyle, but it's definitely all new mold. Like, cause you can't. And I'm not looking forward to that Lexington, dude. I I keep looking back at that. I think they have fixed some of the issues with the wings. How it looked that very first prototype that they showed us. Yeah. Looked really stupid. 
but this newer one that they showed you the actual product picture it looks better but it still looks fucking stupid where is he like they just want they refuse to attach the wings like make them softer make them soft make them fucking soft goods just make the framework of the wings the, the plastic they are well and, they are bendable it looks like that allows collapsibility. I mean, if, but think about if where the, the, the leathery part, the skin part of the wings were. Think if that was a soft good. No, I think like in I think that's kind of what they've done because with his arms down, it's bent over. I don't think that's I want to say I want to say that's a different like it's a swap out wing set. But like you've got his arms moving so much, like then the wing keeps changing shape with the arm. But it really doesn't. It just goes all, all it is, okay. So the wings are supposed to be like the hands. So. When he's got his arms down, this is what the wings are supposed to look like. When he opens them up, it's just spreading, and he's just all has skin between them. I understand how it works, that's but what I'm saying is like... So that's what I'm saying, is if they made this stuff in between soft and just left this, the plastic, then when you put it down, it would fold naturally. No, you, I, can, I, you can move it from your fingers. I, I mean, I But get... they did they made two different sculpts, one like this and one like this, and then so neither one of them are attached so they look good under the arms but look where they go down to the legs there's always a gap you can never sit it just right yeah i mean like they, they made the top part of the wing softer well i mean it's probably all soft but like the fact that it's more it's structured soft, yeah, in the middle than the body is what i'm saying it's softer than the body but they should have went further almost like remember when we were kids the silver hot pop-up wings yeah like have that shit in between yeah no i mean things. i get what you mean I, I get what you're saying they would have to add hinges and shit though they, they would or they wouldn't have to do that. Make it a wired cape. Literally just something that has the shape that just plugs into the legs and plugs into the body. And then all those fingers are just wires for like wired capes like with Batman and stuff. See, it actually, where you can flex them and move them. The weird thing is like it does look really flexible because just looking at the pictures, because just moving the arms around, it like really changes shape, at least the upper part of it. The, that's what i'm saying I, i'm pretty sure those are swap outs like you no, unplug there's no, it. there no no because if you see the accessory set it does it shows only the one set of wings like and they, just, the they show, just the one set on him so i think the back half the the bottom half that goes down is going to be more rigid but the top is like really flexible really soft yeah it, 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 that's what it looks like because you know they always show like all that shit right so i bet what they did is they took the stuff that the uh folded wings are made out of and just use that for the top half of the wing maybe but the the uh, the no. rib so to speak is rigid so the, like the bottom yeah. half is not flexible the, the 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 biggest selling point the yay or near that is going to be how it sits along his side and leg yeah, because well. that's where everybody has a problem it's the same thing with the super seven silver hawks when you put the wings on and they're like there yeah. There's always that tiny little gap right down at the bottom where it doesn't sit exactly flush to the body. Yeah, I mean that's that's basically how it's going to be, like because you can't connect to the legs without the legs not moving. So they're going to ha they're going to have to be they're going to have to be set back. But that's you know you never want to see it from the wrong angle for sure. But it looks actually no. Hold on, wait. That maybe that's his pants. It's hard to look or uh, skirt, so to speak, loincloth. And I'm tired of the, Actually, the I don't know. coming it, with other people to force you to buy them. They need to just do an accessory set like they do with their turtle stuff and just put all the cape wings in an accessory yeah. kit and be done with it. Okay, so this one angle, it's got his, his wings really folded down because he's holding the crossbow, right? Right. And like the wings look like they're sandwiched, like the bottom and the top, they're like sandwiched like this. So it can bend almost to a complete 90 degree. But the bottom Probably. wing seems to tuck up underneath his butt. Like it is That's like, weird. even, even though he, no, I mean, it's kind of what you're asking about. Like, do you want that to where there's not a big gap? It looks like the wing comes up but like the, at the bottom it's of the attack leg. in the show. If this is the bottom of the wing and this is his leg, mm -hmm. it's all one piece. Like, That's what I'm it, saying. It, the it's wing a, opens uh, up from his body. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. They did. I think they did the best they could there and have, they, they have it plugged in. That is another weird angle. Yeah. They have it plugged. It's got to be plugged in somewhere near his Probably butt. on the waist. It's yeah, gotta be, it's gotta be near his butt, but like that, they're not showing it from behind or from what the side. What if it's a clip? What if it's like a C clip where it just clips around his waist so it looks like his belt? That I, I mean, because because we'll it gets because it, it gets skinny at his body, so I don't know. It may be like because we'll, we'll it, see when it comes out. It doesn't look like dog shit. It's just not as good as I think. So I don't. Be. I I think he's the only one who won't have removable wings because they can't. Because it looks mm -hmm. like it looks like it's uh, squeezed together in by his wrist. Yeah, so it's it's molded into the wrist or connected to the wrist. That means it would have to be connected to his back and to his butt. Like I don't think there's going to be gaps for just movement, but I don't think it's going to be that bad. 
Yeah, because look, when he's standing straight up doing a lunging pose, it's not curving under. So I think the whole thing is kind of soft, and they just leave that center rib rigid. And like the, the actual wings sort of adhere near the butt area, so they stay close together, much like they do to the arms. It's not, it's not perfect, because there is a gap just for movement. Like, you know, if it was if it was like a stretchy, like, Lycra situation, that would be the only real way to do it. Or, yeah. like, spandex. But, like... But then cust- people cust- complain that it looks stupid, and yeah. it looks like it looks I mean, I mean cust- customizers look. will fucking do it. It's fine. Because, I mean, like... But to- at the end of the day, I'm not complaining too much. $30 yeah. figure, I'm not expecting the end of the world for I, it. If only... I mean? if only. And, it doesn't, and it doesn't look horrible. It really doesn't. Like, the sculpts all look nice. Yeah. You know, all my joints are good on the ones that I have, and I have all four of them, you know, the main ones so far. Yeah. So, I mean, they're great figures. The biggest I, complaint is the wings. Yeah. The, the not coming with the caped wings or making these a little more flexible. My my, uh, my biggest complaint is that the heads, the normal heads don't have a moving jaw. Like, even if it was a that, little. If, they, don't, they didn't really give you any kind of cutout. Like, for Goliath, you can't make him dude, look up. With that mullet he's got, his head ain't Any of them that have hair can't move their head back. You can't do yep. it. You can't and do it with Brooklyn. You can't do it with uh, Demona. You can't. Well, you can do it more with Demona, but less. Demo, yeah, Demona had like a page cut. She could definitely. Move well, no, it's because she's she's got the she's got the the female it, so it's like okay. it's shorter here and then long in the back, but uh, the uh, but it's more so because it's not really long. It just goes down roughly past the shoulders. But like Broadway has no problem. No, Broadway's awesome. Oh, my Broadway fell apart like because like he doesn't really have a center. Uh, like that. He doesn't have a hip ball joint. It's just kind of a peg. He just, it just came apart. He's fine. He just wow. put it right back together. But like, I took it out of the box and I was like, "What the fuck?" Like, <laughs> you, you like, the, That's not you normal. Got rare battle, you got the rare battle damage, Broadway. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it went right back together. It wasn't a problem. And it's got friction. It's just when I was pulling it out, his legs didn't want to let go, so they just popped, came apart in the thing. Um, let's see here. How much time do we have? Not much. That and that's so that's all my in stuff. And then the last big thing is I I got a new job. Yes, uh, that's why you weren't here last it, Friday. Yeah, it's it's been a it's been wild and hectic. Like it got down to the point I turned in my notice at my current job uh, this next Sunday. So a week from this Sunday is mm-hmm. my la- my last day. And uh, my boss had ran it up to HR that I was leaving was trying to get them to come down to keep me there mm. to give me more money and the job title and HR took like a month. And finally I just, I started talking to this other job and then I went in and I turned, they hired me. Like I've already done everything, my background, my P test, I've signed my contract, everything. Um, and I went and told my boss that, Hey, I, I'm here to put my notice in. She told the owner of the whole company, that motherfucker drove all the way to our little place from Tampa drove to our little place and said, get your ass in there and give him whatever he wants to stay here. Yeah. And um, so she had me come in there and he asked me what they're going to pay me to bring me over there. And it is eight and a half dollars more an hour than what they're paying me at my job right now. Nope. See you later. He, Bye. <laughs> he, he said, he said, there's no way I can match that. Yeah. I said, I know. Comparable. That's why I tried. Comparable. That's benefits. why I tried to keep you up. When I went to them with the month, better when i went to them a, a month ago uh-huh. i gave them a number that split the difference i was only asking for a dollar fifty hold on 250 more than what i'm getting paid right now yeah so i was giving them a five dollar discount to keep me there yeah and they couldn't and, make it happen. and for a whole month for a whole month it didn't around. go anywhere yeah well what happened is we found out is that he told me the HR never contacted him. He never he never heard about any of this until that day he got there. Oh shit. But here but herein lies the rub. Yeah. And this is what I told him. I was like, I was like, now you have to match these numbers. You still don't have to match their number because I know you can't afford that. Yeah. But you're gonna have to get a lot closer now. I said, because here's the problem. This was on Tuesday I was talking to them. Yeah. Monday, literally the day before on my day off. I went up there to finalize my paperwork and I signed my contract. So at that point I was legally bound to that job. Yeah. Like I would have to give them a one month notification to quit that job because I'll be a salaried manager there. Yeah. And uh, I told him, I was like, if you want me to burn that bridge, which I would have to burn it hard, I That's would have a to big just like, bridge. No. Yeah. 
Yeah, like, nope, I'm not coming. See ya. And that'll forever be following me around. People be asking me why this is sitting on my record and stuff like that. You're going to have to come way closer now. And so I talked to him yesterday. Uh, he he asked what it was. I sat down the night before, wrote out like two pages of like a, a, a requirements list mm-hmm. that I compressed it and kept scribbling off redundant stuff and stuff that I thought was way over the top that I could just work into later. And I finally came down to just a little little short of a regular page and I typed up all the bullet points and I gave him a copy of it. He said, give me 24 hours um, or not even 24 hours by noon today. He was going to contact me back and let me know if he got HR to go for it. And he texted me. He said, HR didn't go for it. So I'm out of there. Yep. So it's a, it's officially, officially done. I gave him even, even still, even after that, I still gave him one more shot to keep me there Yeah. Um, because they really wanted me to stay. Um, but they can't do it. So yeah. I'll be starting the Wednesday after that Sunday is my last day. Mm-hmm. And I have to wait till Wednesday to go to my new job because that's when orientation. Is. Yeah. Um, so that Wednesday I'll be starting a new job and then I'll have to rework my whole entire schedule. I've been, that's probably why I got shouted out. I don't know who shouted me out about not doing the promos, but it's been, it's been hectic every time I've had, oh, every time I'm having, yeah, I'm having to run, which is weird because I message him whenever yeah. stuff's going on, but I run, I had to run all the way out there and I have to go over here and there and all over the County. Like I haven't had a full day off since the end of that 14 day stretch that I had. Yeah. So, yeah, it's always like even even here, you know, I've been trying to scramble just to, you know, everybody's been busy or just crazy shit going on. Just scrambling just yeah. to make this show happen one day a week is hard enough. Yeah. Um, but it's a, but it's so, a big, huge, uh, it's, it's a huge, massive uptake. It ends up almost doubling my annual salary going to this new job. Nice. Um, plus, it's an official title and I'm towards getting my CDM there which is a certified dietary manager, mm. the person in charge of the kitchen. Man. Nice stuff like that. So it, it is what it is. I, I don't like change, but I need to do something better for career wise, you know? Yeah. Um, just being a cook all the time doesn't cut the mustard. I still love to cook, oh, but I about not, this. the pay doesn't match it. Mm. You know, um, the amount of hours you got to put in to make that money is, is ridiculous. Indeed. Um, so it's like, it's crazy. Like how I was telling you this job, how I was doing all this stuff where I'm doing like the truck ordering and building the menus and all that stuff. Yep. While at the same time, also being the cook all by myself from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. while I'm there. Mm-hmm. This new job, all I have to do is the stuff that doesn't involve cooking. So half the work, double the pay and a quarter of the hours. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, there ain't no way I can justify that if y'all aren't tiny list i gave you agreed agreed i wish i uh well i mean like we, we currently are having job negotiations uh at my job technically speaking or l- there would be negotiations if if uh, management would come to the table uh so hopefully that will get resolved sooner than later we'll find out uh here in less than less than 30 well give or take 30 days um but uh, just real quick before moving on to this email, uh, the NECA dinosaur figures went up for... Uh, I just saw those, and I'm like, God damn it, and Kara's like, you better not. You don't need already, all the dinosaurs. I already pre-ordered. The baby. I was like, I just need the baby and the dad. She's like, you never buy just one character. I'm like, well, that's because they're always squads or groups. You I don't just need the family. You don't... I don't even need the family. I just need the baby and the dad. I'm good. And the grandma, if they ever made it. They'll do the grandma. But dude, That's the only thing I care about. Dude, look how much stuff that the fucking baby comes with. It's ridiculous. It's like almost, it's everything you need for the baby. And then some. Yep. yep. No, right. Man, I remember, I remember I used to run around saying, not the mom not the so mama. much. Mom's quote, man. Dude, yeah. he comes with the fucking golden horn head. Like, what the hell? Like, you can even recreate that. You know? Yep. It's just like, and they're fucking perfect. Like, I'm guessing he's only, he's got a permanently open mouth. No, maybe a tent. No, okay, he's got one closed, one not closed, it looks like. Yeah. The funny thing is, because it looks like a puppet, it looks like it has a hinged mouth. But that Earl is so fucking good, too. It looks like, eh, maybe they need to work on the airbrushing just a little bit. But, like, the Earl is fucking great. I mean, at least on the, the prototype here with, with the images, the tampo on the shirt may need a little work, but, like... Not too bad, but fuck, he comes with a six pack of fucking beer, like an open mouth sort of. But I mean, you gotta have Fran. You got, I mean, at least have the whole family. 
And dude, that means they also need to have a version of uh, a version of Robbie whenever he what was that going through his puberty stage or whatever, where they were like basically like a werewolf almost. Yeah, no, thank you. Are they just the, dude, I mean, what other special editions are they going to do with the characters? Like, they... I just want I don't care. I just I I really only want the baby and grandma. I'll take the dad, but I don't care. Then like, get the baby. Not, he's... Then get the baby. Yeah, but it has to be the baby and some now to be the baby and the dad and if they ever make a grandma she's going in there. no you like know if the grandma was already up for order right now it would yeah. just be the baby and the grandma you, you know it'd be hilarious if they have one of uh i don't even remember her name but friend's friend who was like the bra- the brontosaurus or whatever so it's just the uh-huh. neck coming in neck. <laughs> like yeah. just the fucking neck and head yeah. that'd be hilarious mm-hmm. and then she's friends with or she's dating roy no, the t-rex wasn't, it wasn't the neck and the head wasn't it always that you just saw her from the neck no down. her head like, came into her. the kitchen it came in through, oh, through, the the yeah, through the window. Yeah, through the window or the yeah, door. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, yep, yep, yep. they had they had the uh, they had the half door. They had the barn mm-hmm. door, whatever you want to call it, whatever that's yep. called. So like yeah. they would open that top bar and she would stick her head in. That's hilarious. Like dude, dude, yeah. you could see the whole fucking kitchen being a Billy yep. display. The whole kitchen. Yep. That's it. Like just set the kitchen up. All the characters in their spots. You know, it'd be fucking perfect. Like it, it, it's like I like I said the only thing I think that they need a little bit is slightly more airbrushing on the dad but you know every now and then they'll do a little bit more work after the image has been showed but like the baby and his but fucking Mecca, thing. Mecca is wild the the different fucking licenses they're getting I love that shit well uh, the fact that this is all Jim Henson company you know that means that that if that opens up who I mean they already did what. Uh, I mean, they've already got other stuff, don't they? Don't they have like Dark, they, Dark Crystal do and Labyrinth? I think they're doing. They Fraggles. do Fraggles. They might be doing Fraggles, but that's HBO license, so I'm not sure where that's going to come in. But that was a. But that was it's a. Jim, it's Jim Henson, but I don't know that anybody owns the Dinosaurs franchise currently, so that might be how they that can do it that Fox way. Thing. Yeah. Who? Uh, the dinosaurs. That was on Fox. A- wasn't ABC. It? Dinosaurs. Was it ABC? A- dinosaurs was TGIF. Bam. Yeah, they were the last show on TGIF usually uh, when it first came out. So, I mean, like, that's crazy. I mean, eventually it got on Fox, but that's whenever in syndication. But, like, it. other than, okay, so the only thing they're going to do is Earl in, like, his hard hat for work and maybe a, a uh, mm-hmm. lunch like, pail. Yeah, you but then to, you got to have his, his, you got to have his Ralphie T-Rex friend. That's Roy. Because yeah. that's. Roy, there that was them. Yeah. See, the whole show is based lightly off the honeymooner. Yeah, yeah. So it's supposed to be like dinosaur honeymooner. Yeah, exactly. He's supposed to be Ralph and uh, what his friend? Uh, what shit was his friend's name? Ralph was the friend. No, Ralph no, was the Ralph big was one. The main guy. Um. Uh, God damn it! If you hadn't asked me, I would have said that. You're shit. the one who said it first. <laughs> but yeah, no, it is very but, much honeymooners. I should figure it said it. But then again, it's also the Simpsons. So it's like they are just the Simpsons. But like, dude, can you imagine the Mr. Ridgefield or Mr. Richfield? It's gonna have to be the desk and then his ass just sitting there. Like it's sitting gonna there. it's gonna be like a fifty dollar figure because he's gonna be huge. You know? What? Not Earl. It was uh, had one of them weird ass Rock. No, Ralph Carney played Ralph him Carney. Was... Oh, that's what it is. Okay, hold on. Uh, that's why I always wanted to call him Ralph. Is Ralph Carney played I mean, or Al Carney or something Carney? Gonna look it up just real quick. Yeah, Google that shit because that Ra- was Ralph. Me uh, Jackie Gleason was Ralph Cramden, uh-huh. and then Art Carney played Ed Norton. Ed, yeah, Norton. Did, Ed Norton. Because <laughs> like I was Edward mixing Norton. up Ralph. Yeah. I was mixing up Ralph and Carney. I was yeah, mixing those. Two that makes together. sense. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, Al. Al Carney. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So that makes sense. So that's okay. And yeah. then, and then but, course, I mean, I, you can literally see the dinosaur dad doing almost that whole one of these days, Alex. Bam. I'll zoom Numerosity. right in the kisser. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, he. I think he threatened her a lot. And then, of course, she's the. Yeah. And then, bam, zoom straight to the moon. Yep. <laughs> and, like, dude, like, everybody's just going to create the final scene. It's like going to be snowing outside. No. Yeah. Darkest fucking ending in, in a silly show. That was. That was depressing as fuck. And people people thought there was hope. The yeah, it's like, oh yeah. yeah, they nuked all they nuked all the all the uh, volcanoes and ended up killing themselves. Oh. Yeah. Um, so uh, what was it? there was one other thing I was going to mention before moving on, and I already forgot what it was because I got off on that tangent. Um, that was a fun tangent. Though, oh, man. okay. I was going to ask you. So they just showed off this. Uh, I know you don't care about McFarlane at all, but like the new anti monitor figure. Why the fuck is he so small? 
Is I haven't it? even seen it. I'm going to tell you the stupidest people and their love of McFarlane can all take turns sucking my tank. Because now this motherfucker's putting out Jokerized versions of the Batman Begins Batman Dark Knight trilogy figure. Oh, yeah. He just that. announced, like, like last week, it was a Jokerized version of uh, the Bale Batman. Yeah. And then this week, it's a Jokerized version of Joker from Dark Knight. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? And then he announced that that Bane and Superman two are, are not Bane uh fucking Doomsday and Superman two pack yeah and then the two Superman uh, two pack the the regular Superman and then the Ultraman yeah and like people were talking about it and they're like he doesn't even look like the character bio card that comes with the figure nope and I, and I'm like are y'all new to McFarlane none of his figures looks like the goddamn cards that he puts in there he mcfarlane's yeah. the fuck out of everything he touches none of it looks like how it's supposed to look yeah that that earth that earth three superman and ultraman look like ass dude that dirt face fucking superman is it's whoa. super derpy but then but then like the weird oh. the weird torso on ultraman makes no fucking sense the tar the torso is weird but that head sculpt on ultraman the head sculpt is they're both both amazing. head sculpts are stupid but my point was like, no, why did they? Why did... I like the Ultraman one. Oh, do you? You said it was derpy. Yeah, I like the the one. No, no. Oh, okay. Derp man had the derp face, yeah. but the Ultraman one, I liked his face. Like, I his head sculpt with the laser eyes and all that he looks, looks way better than derp face. He looks like a human version of Starscream. <laughs> he does. Look at it. It looks like Starscream. But like the fact they're putting out the Anti Monitor at that size makes no sense because the Anti Monitor is fucking gigantic. He should be like Wait, a fucking is, sentinel. This is McFarlane we're talking about. But he they do jumbo people, figures. Yeah, but their jumbo figures aren't correct either. No, like, but they're at he, least he, bigger. Barely. Like, how are you going to have an eight-inch Hulk standing next to a seven-inch Spider-Man? Like, that means in reality that if I'm six three, you're saying that Hulk is only seven foot tall. Yeah. And he's not. He's supposed to be like eight to ten feet tall. Supposed to be fucking huge. There's one. There's one they did that. Who was it? Was it a? Uh, was it Killer Croc or something? Clayface. They, they did the. Clay they face? did the big ass Clayface. Yeah, but I mean, like, but he's not. But he's not huge either. Well, he's big for remember, that. Uh, in the comics, in, in the comics, and in the games, and the cartoon, Batman is lucky if he stands to that thing's waist when he's yeah. in fucking Clayface mode. This one, he's at like Clayface's shoulders. Yeah, the Man Bat's kind of big for what it is. Man. Mm -hmm. For what it is, yeah, but I mean, like, but but, but, but the anti monitor should be like literally Massive. one of those jump, those jumbo fucking twelve inch or bigger mm -hmm. figures, and that's not even close because the anti monitor Jesus is Jesus. is gigantic. Yeah. But it's supposed like, to be like sentinel size, like yeah, that's that what size. I said. Like, but like, oh, yeah. that was that was the other thing. Uh, Mattel is now doing their own version of Haslab, kickstarting shit. Have you seen this for Jurassic Park? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, the one where they just reissued the same shit they already put out. No, but they're but they give you. You're, but they give you the dollar store goat with it and call it a fucking tier. Well, this is the this is the whole uh, like T Rex pin. It's a T Rex. Well, not even the T Rex pin. It's the one with uh, Tim and Lex and stuff climbing the thing. So it's them oh, them trying to get into the visitor center. Um, mm. Actually, I think that's pretty much what it is—the visitor center. I mean, like if it goes, it goes. But I mean, it's Mattel. So. But that's the thing is, but it's all just repaints and reissues of stuff they just put out, like last oh, yeah. year or the year before in well, the Hammond collection. And so that's not a Haslab. No, Haslab but, is stuff that hasn't been done before, or better versions of stuff that has been done before. This yeah. is the same stuff. But yeah, I mean, I'm, it's just repackaged of the the Hammond collection. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm not disagreeing on the figure part, but the the crowdfunding the entire diorama thing. That's that's yeah. new, you know. That's but that's yeah. interesting. Like that's the kind of stuff that should be crowdfunded because like not everybody's mm -hmm. gonna want that. I mean, you could have mass released that. Not everybody wanted the Jeep. They still mass but, released that. Not but, everybody wants a John Hammond figure. They mass released that. But a figure is not a diorama, you know. You're not building out a whole big fucking thing. But and also like at least when they're like say the Tim and the Lex and and the Grant mm -hmm. probably at least by then they can dirty them up. They can you know battle damage them because they've been kind of fucked mm -hmm. up by this point post T Rex battle so to speak. And this is uh, this is the first release uh, in the main Jurassic Park lines of a Lex figure. Yeah, because they... I, I remember reading an article a few years ago. She never had a figure come out, and that was like a big thing of contention back in the day that she was mad about that they never made an action figure hers. They even had a Tim. But they never had a Lex. Yep, totally remember that. Yep. yep. I All they ever had was Ellie Sattler as the female figure. 
Hold on, is it just the gates? No, that's that's a different thing. That's a, so it's, it, is it no, just the Jurassic Park no, gates no, no, with no, a little no. bit of the fence on each side? Or is that just a promo, promotional picture? Uh, no, that was a different one. This is Okay, so this is for the Hammond Collection size things. I, mm, maybe. Oh, I was right. They are fucking dirtied up. <laughs> they actually are all dirtied up. Tim has a new head right. sculpt. But it is the gates. It does have the gates with sound and everything. Uh, it's got the park, all the different dinosaur uh, info things, like where they would tell you, you know, which pen you're at. Triceratops are that way, T-Rex yeah. are that way. All that it, com- it comes with the Explorer, mm-hmm. which is pretty fucking cool. But comes, these, comes with the vehicle. But these are three and three quarter size, right? I think they're... Or are they the six inch mm, scale? Hard to tell because the articulation sucks regardless. But I mean, like the inside of the vehicle actually has like decent detail. So I don't know. Oh shit! It comes with a the the bloody day, goat leg. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like a dollar yeah. store, you got, and it comes with a goat too. That's like one of the tears it, or some. It comes shit. with the goat. It comes with the T Rex. Oh, that T Rex is actually painted worth a damn. I thought it was shittier than it's that. Just, it's the same T Rex. Yeah, but I'm just saying it is actually painted worth a damn. I didn't think it was. And I don't even think it's the good one. It's not even the one that everybody was out trying to kill to get a hold of. So, it's the other one that everybody could find everywhere. No, the goat. Uh, oh, okay, so. The the five thousand backer unlock is just the gates. Oh, they're actually motorized too. Interesting. Okay, so the motorized gates and the explorer. Mm-hmm. That that's the first tier. Uh, mm-hmm. Second tier, which granted not worth the money, uh, mm-hmm. is this is the uh, the charger problem. Uh, mm-hmm. So uh, unlock two post electrocution Tim and two enclosure fences. So now we're upping the diorama with the figure. Three mm-hmm. gives you the Buck T Rex from the Lost mm-hmm. World. That's why it's not the right T Rex. It's a Lost World T Rex. So if you already got the regular T Rex, just throw it in this diorama. Um, mm-hmm. But that's actually cool, though. A completely different T Rex, uh, though it doesn't fit this dio, which makes no sense. And then the final one is Lex with the goat, is the final Told you. So they're putting it's Lex at the fucking tier. bottom. Yeah. And it's a tier to get a goat. I'm gonna go to Dollar. I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree and buy a case of fucking goats oh, and just okay. sell them to people. So it's got it's got a little under a month, and it doesn't even have a thousand backers. So I mean, like, and it's gotta get gotta get five thousand to be funded. Gotta get five thousand for the first tier. For the That's first tier, yeah. So just yeah. to get funded, but you need ten thousand for the whole thing. Man, See, but, I would, but it's a I lot of stuff. But, but if it if, I, if I, but okay, so just. If it like for two fifty, all of that is actually a pretty good deal. That's a lot for two fifty. I would even say what they already have for the original five thousand plus the T Rex is good for two fifty. All that oh, other agreed. shit. Now that's where tiers come in: extra fencing for the dio, yeah. extra characters that you wouldn't get any other way. All that shit makes sense to slide down into tiers. Yeah, I think they're asking for way too many backers. I think, I think the T Rex uh, and- should be the final tier, not the third tier. That's silly. Mm-mm. I think the T Rex should be a, a, in the main thing because that's what most people want. Tiers are to get extra people. It's to get people to buy extra stuff for a set that they already have. Yeah. People want the Jeep, they want the T Rex, and they want the fucking game. But they already the have it. But they already have a T Rex that fits this. Like that, that that would go sort of with this. Like but this, this T Rex. Yeah, but I'm uh, but I'm saying this T Rex doesn't even fit this motif. What color? Oh, what color is that T Rex? Green. He's the yeah, one. That's definitely not the right. T-Rex. No, he's he's the one from the second movie. The original T Rex has already come out. So like, yeah. basically, you didn't even need a T Rex in this, but they did it to make sure you're getting your money's worth, so to speak. But they should have put it last, so the people that's where you should get that. Like, I know I get your point. I totally get your point. If they just wanted to sell the fucking thing, like not a not a Kickstarter, just sell the fucking thing. Two fifty, you get the gate, you get the car, you get the T Rex, because they've mm-hmm. already done the car separately but i think it's because it's the specific car because there were two so you got one like whatever number that one was plus the diorama stuff plus the fencing plus the motorized gate with sound which is cool now is this this is the green explorer not the not the safari jeep right yeah this is the explorer this is the number five explorer mm-hmm. and uh but uh, they already released the previous one as far as i recall mm-hmm. uh or maybe i'm thinking or maybe i'm thinking of the Transformers two pack, yeah. See that one might be too because the boys have that one. Because I don't I remember the, uh, the actually the funny thing is the interior isn't the dashboard isn't painted very well, but then the back actually has some decent shit. It's kind of funny, <laughs> but I mean like the fact that it has a full interior is pretty cool. I mean if it has like the stuff, it'd be it'd be nice. 
I do like the bloody leg that can be removed. That's a nice that's a nice function. But I like the goat. Is, but once again, the goat is included with Lex instead of just being part of it. But this is also mm -hmm. they're doing multiple things here because this isn't the T Rex enclosure. It's just the gate with other stuff. So mm -hmm. you could build out like a big diorama. Oh, it does come with stuff in the back. Okay, so the the, the explorer does have the like case with all the tools. Night vision and goggles yeah. and all that. I don't know. I don't know if there's anything in it, but it does have the the case in the back. So I mean, like it's a I lot would, of shit. If you got it all, me. if you got it all, it's worth it. I don't even want the extra fencing and and the, the electrocution because that's not at the same area. No, but I think that was in the Gallimimus enclosure is where they were fucking trying to jump that fence. Yeah, it was near the it was near the actual thing. So what well, that's coming mm -hmm. with the Gallimimus. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, you're right, Gallimimus. It comes with the Gallimimus, Velociraptor, Brachiosaur, Dilophosaur, and T Rex and Triceratops. Uh, Thingies. The only reason why I remember it being by the Gallimimus ones because that they were out running that. Yeah. The Gallimimus yeah. and the T Rex was Because that was the big open field, realistically, is what that yep. was. Yep. But I like how the gate has the phone next to it. That's kind of funny. Yep. I mean, like. It, but the gate, the gate in the Jeep and a regular T Rex, I would buy into that thing it, like that because Jurassic Park is probably my number one movie of all time just from the amount of times I've seen and it. It is about. Hammond Collection, so I'm going to guess this, that's the correct size. So that's the six inch scale. Oh. Okay, no, yeah, because no, it says that the Explorer is made for three and three quarters. See, so then that's not the Hammond collection because the Hammond collection was. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe th that doesn't. Make okay, hold on. So the fence is Hammond or Hammond collection scale. Mm hmm. And all of that stuff is scaled correctly. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. So this is the Explorer that didn't get fucked up because the other one obviously got fucked up by the T Rex. But that's three and three quarter is the T Rex. So, that Jeep, so the Jeep's going to look weird if you put a six inch figure by it, is what's going to happen. Yeah, so they're selling you different levels of stuff. Yeah, that's fucking that's dumb. That's kind I'm of out. weird. But I'm like, out right there. But see, I don't know what's because it shows it all together, but it doesn't tell me what scale the T Rex is. Yeah, but it's also all photoshopped together. It's a it's cut and paste picture. No, so no, no. They can it's, take not. That. it's not. It's all together. It's all one. together. Yeah, it's all in one picture. You can tell. But like, okay, so that T Rex is scaled to that vehicle, so that's a three and three quarter T Rex, not Hammond collection. Which means, which means smaller than that nice T Rex everybody was. But the like the Lex and yeah, so the Lex and Tim are three and three quarter because they fit in the vehicle. Which means they're not scaled to the human figures that you already have if you bought into that. Yeah, because the, the articulation can't be correct. But that just means that the T Rex, the T Rex, the fence the vehicle are all scaled to the same size. It's just the gates that are technically too big. The gates should be big. Remember how fucking But I mean, compa comparatively, I'm saying like the, the gates are too big for what they're with. Well, it sounds like, it sounds like the gates and the fence are, are set for the six inch scale, but the figures, the T-Rex and the Jeep are our three and three quarter scale, which will be fine with that fence it just it'll make actually the that fence still doesn't make bigger. sense hold on no that doesn't make sense because it shows the t-rex Lex... will the t-rex will look off but the jeep and the people being that small next to that fence will just make it look bigger which is fine well what i'm saying is like the the the, the fence it's an enclosure fence it's not the fence that they climbed because that fence was much taller the fence that they climbed was an enclosure fence no but i mean like, all the, like the the one the one they climbed over was significantly taller than the one they were driving next to because that was I don't next think, to a wall. Yeah, but I, that's what I'm saying is I don't think it was taller because the thing is at that one there that they were driving next to was next to a moat. So the very bottom part of the fence was all a concrete slab that no, no, the fence yeah. up off of. Wait, it actually the one they climbed over the one they climbed over was all the way to the ground. It was from the ground up to the same height. Is, wait, does the light actually blink? It would be awesome if it does. It looks you like say it. it's motorized and plays music, it should fucking Well, that's like that. That's music. just the, the gate. But mm -hmm. the fence that is included... Oh, it comes with extra fence. It comes with extra fence. Interesting. I mean, like, it's a cool set. Okay, so... Yeah, they do the like... The scaling thing bothers me. The so, scaling thing bothers well, me a little. The thing is, like, they say it's all... At, they say it's Hammond Collection scale, whatever that technically means, but everything looks the right size. Except maybe the T Rex. Like the T Rex maybe is a little is too that's tall. also that's forced perspective in a picture. If I put that Jeep closer to the camera and I take the picture, it's gonna look huge and in scale to the rest. Well, of I mean, in the in the wide picture of all the items, they're all kind of clustered together. The T Rex is maybe an inch behind the 
truck. The the biggest the thing that would throw that off the most would be the T Rex because you got to remember in the first movie when he stood up and pulled that fence down and got over it. He yeah. was stepping over a moat to remember there was a whole dam yeah there's over. a whole that that whole thing about that is so fucked up in the first place but yeah like, but that's what I'm saying is that's how big that motherfucker was is he was still standing there at eye level at that fence yeah with a standing in a hole he was still supposedly eye level well it couldn't have been yeah. completely in a hole because where the the goat was was flat land right there that was behind it remember they they purposely in the book they described it they did yeah. the slope like that because a t-rex well, can't pull itself by its arms yeah because well, they were going. well because the book is also very oh, okay there's actually a video oh shit okay hold on there's a video playing in the bottom corner i didn't even notice <laughs> like this whole time there's been a video of them doing it to me the t-rex is going to be what throws it off in scale i think having I think... that t-rex anywhere near that will make it look wrong maybe it's close like it's 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 pretty close like seeing it next to the vehicle it's pretty close to what the the right size for the vehicle and but if that side. vehicle's three and three quarters and those figures are three and three quarters it means they're not going to match anybody's six inch collection which is going to look weird as fuck and that's the weird part about that whole thing give me just a second let me let me look mm -hmm. at this we're not even getting into the questions yet but uh let's see here but i would buy Plus, that just for that setup so and because they do have different size stuff though from what I recall, they do have the six inch line and then they have the other ones because the dinosaurs don't all skip. Yeah, because most of the time the dinosaurs, when they come with a human, quote unquote, they're three, yeah, three quarter humans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it looks like it's mostly set to. I don't even want to say anything yeah, in particular. Like it's it's a weird it's a weird setup because half the dinosaurs don't even look right on this. But the fact that the kids, well, they are smaller figures, so maybe they just don't have as much articulation. It's really hard to tell. Like, but if they're but if they're kid figures at three and three quarter, they're gonna look ridiculously next small next yeah. to a six inch. But that's why it's it's all dumb. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. No, you're you, we've been wrong all along. They're all three and three quarter. What's all three and three quarter? So I'm I'm just looking at BBTS the Hammond collection figures. Mm -hmm. There's Ellie. She's three and three quarter. Uh, here they have six, they have six inch Jurassic Park figures. Yeah, I've I know. Seen them. But um, yeah, I know they do. But what I'm getting at is okay. So I just looked at four. So the Hammond so the Hammond collection is not the six inch. The no, collection it's not. So quarter. all of that is okay. the correct scale. All of that. So it's all correct scale for a Hammond collection. It's not if you're trying to do a six inch collection. Correct. So these gotcha. are all Hammond collection. Is seemingly is all three and three quarter. Because every, every so we mislabeled which one was Hammond collection. That's our that's okay. that's somebody's fault. So it, yeah. it go, I'll take it, the heat on that well, because I thought Hammond collection was the six inch ones. Yeah, and so like, yeah, because I'm sitting here looking at it. Yeah, maybe they just didn't do that many. I don't know. That is weird. Or something's mislabeled somewhere. But either way, yeah, no. So actually, everything there is scaled correctly. It's mm -hmm. all scaled correctly. So to a three and three quarter set. Yes. Yeah, because I don't want I, I don't want that shit. I I have but, I'm, I don't do three and three quarters. Yeah, well, I mean, like if you already had this, you wouldn't be fucked up. Yeah. You know, so but it, I mean that is a very very cool set for what it is, but it, it'll never get made. It, like not at that cost. Like be, but like there's not enough people that interested to to get the base set for two fifty. Like well, I think it'll it'll push. You know, little spoiler alert talking about anniversaries on our anniversary show tonight and i am dress park is actually one of the ones we brought up because this is the 30th anniversary oh, yeah. this year so it might get which is why they're push. doing it but but like yeah. it's got a month to gain four thousand just to get the base and, but and, they've already hit a thousand after how many days like two days yeah but i mean like they're not they're pushing on facebook ads they're not doing shit like hasbro does you know i mean like that's the biggest problem if it was a hasbro thing probably would have been and funded this isn't this isn't mattel's first haslab well, I know, but I mean, like, how successful was the first one? The first one, it funded, but I don't think it got all the numbers. It was the, the He-Man, that castle with the sky rail and all that shit. Oh, I forgot about that. Did the they attorney fund? attorney that. Yeah, I think it funded, but it didn't get all the tiers. It didn't get the last tier, which was like King Grayskull or some shit. Let me find it. Just because I didn't know. <clears throat> Including yeah, the the Mega Motu Collectors. It was the attorney place it. That's not it. Nope. Type in uh, attorney there place at crowdfund. There it is. It was the next link. No. Uh, no, it actually got through the second tier. Yeah, it didn't get the last. It tier. didn't get the last one, which is Lee King Grayskull. Uh, it's two different figures: Keklar, leader of the elders, and King Grayskull. So, 
You're lacking two figures. But they already did King Grayskull as a separate figure at a different point, so... But they did the King Grayskull from the cartoon, like the new cartoon. They did oh, the, I thought the it Blackout was... Trend. Yeah, that's who this was. Mm, I thought this one for the for the old Eternia playset was the original King mm. Grayskull. No, I'm looking at it right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's done in it's done in the classics classics version, and it's the the black one that we <clears> got a new thing. Okay, yeah. See, I completely so, forgot about this. I mean, this was five fifty, but it's a huge fucking thing. It's huge. And the only reason why I remember that one is EE is a huge He Man guy, and he was so yeah. mad about that place because that's the one he he either had it as a kid, he loved it, or he wanted it as a kid and couldn't get it, and so he was all about that. And then it was the wrong size thing because he collect classics, and yeah. those are small. Those are those are He Man origin size. Origin, not classics. Correct. Okay. Classics is like the high end Matty Collector stuff. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I got my numbers wrong again. And the funny thing is, it's like, okay. they did. Hey, at least you didn't call him Hammond Collection like an asshole, like I did. Well, uh, no, we just we we got the Hammond Collection backwards for what yeah. it was. Yeah. But no, the it's, fact it's the He Man, it's the He Man Hammond Collection. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's really funny about this is like the only unlock it too was some moat monster. That's it. It was just yeah. a little moat monster. It looks like a rat, a rat frog. And I want to say, I want to say the moat monster is just like it's a nod. Like it wasn't even an original figure in the original set. That was a sticker. It was a sticker that was <laughs> in the bottom of it that showed the monster, yeah. but this time they actually made a figure out of it. And what's stupid is it's just going to sit in the hole right there. Like, that's so yeah. stupid. But to get 2,000 backers just to get two other figures is silly. It, yeah. should. It's like the monster should have come with it, and then the figure should have been the unlock. Like, one figure, then the yep. next figure. Like, but he man, he man's pretty big. Yeah. He man, that, that funding well, did not surprise So me. is Jurassic Park, but I guess people collect less of the toys versus loving the movie. Man. Like I'm not yep. gonna buy. I'm not buying any of the Jurassic Park stuff, and I love the Jurassic Park movies. I love it to death, and I don't have a single representation of Jurassic like, Park in my stuff, except for the Transformers stuff that I bought for the boys. And I don't even. And I got them. I don't even have that. I got them, I got them both oh. things. I got them the Raptor and the, the yeah. other one. I mean, eventually I'll buy the Hound repaint from New Age, but that's it. Uh, oh, they, somebody better make fucking small stickers for that. <laughs> somebody better. All right. Oh uh, well, toy hacks. One thousand percent toy hacks will. Dude, they have they've been sleeping on their duties when it comes to making new, new figures. They've been putting out some stuff. I've been getting emails recently. They they fired back up again because I've all of a sudden been getting toy hacks uh, emails. Oh, I always get the I emails, but like they 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 do all the the mainline stuff. They're barely doing any third party stuff from what I've seen. But that's just me because mm. I have I have specific needs. I haven't been on there. I haven't been on Toy Hacks in two years because I stopped doing stickers. But I was for a long time there. I was thick into them, dude. Well, sick. I was getting well. I was getting the ones for Legends. Yeah, that was all my. That was all my three P. It was all my masterpiece stuff. Like oh. I got a shit ton of those for like new new ages and shit like that. Yeah. Well, like they stopped. Like I think they did a couple. Or, uh, not new age fans toys. Yeah. So, and like, it feels like they stopped doing as many of the third parties, which is kind of annoying. Yeah. Uh, might be, might be people weren't buying them enough because most people, when they buy third party, they're not trying third party puts out the toy deco. So you don't need the stickers to get the toy deco, but you still need the emblems. So that's why I buy, I usually buy the emblems. You want me, look, you see this right here? Yeah. I have about five thousands of these things because every time Toy Hack sends you stickers, they send you a free sheet of these fucking things. That's from, but that's from Show Z. I'm just saying they have theirs is clear. Well, yeah, they have the they have the crappy the crappy multi size ones that don't stick worth a damn. Because I've got a bunch of those sheets too. But like these also aren't these uh are these water slides? What are they? Are they rub ons? Um, Because they're not stickers. Yeah, they're not sticker stickers. So they're either water slide or or dry rub. It might be dry rub. That's what they kind of look like. Because you you're gonna have to cut them out. But I did always like how if you look real closely, they even give you like the shattered glass version. Right? Oh yeah, that's the only way it's cool because Toy Hacks. Well, Toy Hacks started redoing this so they could actually buy an entire sheet of the shattered glass ones instead of that. No, this is the Show Z one. No, no, no. But I'm saying with with Toy Hacks, they you could only get shattered glass if you bought a very specific sheet that came with all kinds of other symbols. Now they started selling just the shattered glass ones. Okay, so they actually do have they have decals for David, which is impressive, but only the main line one. Hold on one second. You keep going. I'm going to mute for one second. Okay. Uh, they do actually have four Jazz, so they got that. But, I mean, like, I don't even need that one. What is this one? That's Iron Factory. But they always want to do the cell shaded stuff, so I don't know. Is this? Yeah, that's New Age. Uh, smoke screen. 
And then, uh, let's see, who else? I mean, so yeah, they're doing, they're getting back to it. They need they need to get a whole set for New Age Michael. That would be cool. All right, I'm back. Yeah, I know. He's coming out. I mean, he's uh he's been helping me do clean up on my uh, Jedi Survivor. Yeah, and he just finished uh, doing something else on that we were working on earlier. So I don't I don't know if you I don't know if you care or not, but DX Nine's re releasing their whole Dinobot set. Oh yeah, I saw that. I passed on them. Yeah, that's, that's I, what I've got. Yeah, but that's the I I I've heard they have huge cuz uh EE was getting rid of his and he wanted to know if I wanted them. and he was I was like so tell me about them he's like the hips are trash on them those pinned hips and some all of that. them are bad I will say that the yeah. the the worst one is slag in my opinion the rest of them are actually pretty good and but I'm, new age is announcing there's like crazy sludge is on his way now slag's already been announced like yeah. I'm down for that yeah we briefly talked about slag last week yeah. render looks amazing Thank sludge is going to be great Thank you sir all right, hold so on one second. hold on one second again. I'm holding on one second. You what? A new game plus because maybe because you want to do new game plus because sure. all the things will give it a whack and let's see. Let's see what happens, man. You have to replay the story mode, or something. I know, I like but it'll allow us to get more prior right and all that kind of crap. Yeah. So. Which uh, game? G1, uh, Jedi Survivor. Survivor. Nice, but you know that means we lose all that stuff. All the Will we still have the upgrades and all that stuff? We still have the upgrades and all that. Rock and roll, do it, man. Fire yeah. that bad boy off. We'll have our red lights there. We'll get you, to murder folks. You keep yeah, the upgrades. Yeah. All right. But you start over at a harder level. Well, I don't... See, that's what... I don't know how that works because a lot of the upgrades in this game are part of the story mode. Like you, you Same thing with God game. of War. God of War did the same thing, but, like, you what keep the spear. Like... You don't. You're not. You have the. You have the spear, but the only thing you can't do is things that are dependent upon getting that weapon. Gotcha. So you can. So odds are that new game plus because you know it's still a mainline game. Probably the same thing. You keep all your upgrades, but everything's fucking harder, and you you'll still get the story mode upgrades even though you already have them. And that's the thing is, on this one, there's no trophy for being out of. Um, you know, like they have trophies for like beat it on hard, beat it on expert, beat it on this, beat it yeah. on that. There's none of that shit on this one. So I literally just to burn through the story mode, I put it on the easiest setting possible yeah. to the story mode. And then yes. when we got done with it, we raised the level up for all the cleanup stuff so that it's a challenge. Yeah, the same thing with God of War. They just got rid of the level level up stuff. It's just like beat the game. Yay. Okay. The hard so mode now, is the hard mode is actually just getting everything done. Like it's like finding every damn thing, doing every level. Uh, and that's where we're at. The, the final cleanup is like buy all the shit from this one shop and I'm like we've gone around like there's an upgrade where you can see on the map where stuff is hidden stuff that you haven't found yet mm -hmm. and we cleaned the map off the map's all cleared and they're still saying we need more of this they call it pry right it's like this rock that you have to find that you, you can only spend it in one shop and one of the trophies you have to buy everything in that one shop mm -hmm. but we've gotten all the pry right in the fucking game and we still need to buy two more things so I'm like how the fuck are we supposed to do that so that's why I'm saying let's fire off a new game plus and see if we get more priority. That, that sounds like the off. that sounds like the glitch at the end of God of War Ragnarok where you didn't have enough of uh, whatever thing to actually do all the upgrades. Like it's like they they yeah. actually you were shorted. Like there's no way to yep. get enough of that particular upgrade. Which um, is fucking dumb. All right, how much time you got left? Oh, uh, you rock and roll, dude. I'm off today. Okay. Well, you said you, you were good until three. That's why I was confused. Today I said that. Yeah. For some reason, I thought you had to go at three. When said, did I say that? The other day, you said I'm good on Friday, but I have to be out by three. Do I have to be out by three today? Oh, I do have to be out by three. My bad. Yeah, we have dinner with my mom. It's, like, it's already three. It is <laughs> and three. We haven't even got to the email. Fuck, let's burn this real quick. All right. Well, shit, he's got a lot of questions. All right. We'll so, get as far as we can. If we have to, you can just cut this part out and we'll make I it will, an extra. I will cut the... He's got a thing about reading a bunch of movies, so we'll, well skip And that we part. can make that an extra one. We'll jump back in. I can jump back in here. Okay. And do some recording. All right, so doing this uh, email here from Jay wrote in. He's been gone for a while, so he said, "Sorry not for not writing in for a while, guys. This is going to be a long email." Yes, I know. Uh, after the last few months, I've had e after the last few months, I have had each of them has been a bitch. I listen to all the podcasts. Some of them are good, some of them bad. Thanks. Um, <laughs> best one is from Maryland. I guess that's because you weren't uh, able to talk in that one. Um, despite the technical, oh, well, go fuck yourselves. I said that. Um, despite the technical difficulties, uh, he's keep putting periods where I think he means put commas. Who now, cares? Well, that makes it hard to read. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, wait, is that a read? It, read the whole email is one long run. I will. I will read the whole thing as one sentence. Now, here's how <laughs> my life has gone. 
So my plans fucked like a 50 cent whore at Disneyland. I wasn't aware that that wow. was something you could get at Disneyland, but great. Okay. They used to only be 20 cents. I blame the economy. It's inflation. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's hoflation. Um, no. So uh, <laughs> that's a whole different thing. So March, two of my neighbors, this is how long he hasn't been in touch. Uh, two of my neighbors found out I can work on cars. So according to them, I had to work on theirs for free with them not helping me at all. Fuck off with that right away. Um, they either help or they don't is get he it done. Canadian? No. So why is he nice enough to say yes and deal with that bullshit? I don't know, but we'll see. Um, okay. April helped another neighbor work on his race car, and then he dro- and he dropped a seventy-five pound turbo on my hand. That's a oh, big. God, that's a huge turbo. Yeah, uh, it is. and then bitched at me for letting it fall six fucking inches. Uh, still having problems straightening out two fingers on my right hand, which was not broken. Small fingers. It's like, dude, if, you, if it's that fucked up in months later, uh, problems. Um, clearly not in Canada. You would have had that fixed. Um, mm-hmm. so, uh, May, my mom had to go to the doctor. Doctor checked her out and asked one question, and that question was, do you smoke? Ordered a CT scan and said she had cancer. Great. Fucking mm. Trying to get a second opinion Sorry. from a different doctor in a different hospital. Okay. Sorry about your mom, dude. That's, I, mean, that's, I, don't, I don't joke about the big C. No, but so. like... And and the thing is, I guessing, because he didn't. They said the doctor didn't ask anything else. Like, just do you smoke? Did a CT and said she had cancer. Yeah, definitely get always with cancer. Get a second opinion, um, because sometimes it ain't. It's just something that looks funky on the scan. You know, I know I know people who got all the way geared up for cancer treatment, and then they went back in for a backup scan. Totally gone because it wasn't cancer in the first place. You know, it was like a, a splotch on the x-ray. Some, something yeah. fucked up in an x-ray, a dark spot, you know, or like a, a fatty, some 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 bullshit built up somewhere. Just Cor- Corpuscle. I like to say that. Corpuscle, yep. Mm-hmm. All right, so hopefully hopefully things will be uh, good in that manner. That sucks. I mean, right now my parent, my, my dad. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, it's like right now my, I'm going through health problems again with my parents. So, yeah. yeah. Positive thoughts and vibes for your mom, dude. Yes, we hope definitely. everything turns out. Hopefully, not cancer, or if it is, deal with it super fast she and easy. Kicks his ass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck, um, fuck cancer. Yeah, exactly. Fuck cancer. Uh, uh, you, uh, you now t- let me smoke my cigarette while you. Yeah, while reading. you smoke your fucking cigarettes and have no cancer. Um, June tried to get my fucking deadbeat asshole half brothers and sisters to my dad's side of the fa- from my dad's side of the family to help with him so I could get mom's doctor's appointment. Uh, that sounds like what you were dealing with. Doesn't it? And they all fucking flake like a bunch of cowardly little bitches. <laughs> I love how he's just not mincing words. Uh, yep, I love it. And worst, Missed you, Jay. Worst <laughs> of all, the 29th is my birthday. Well, happy birthday one day late. Um, yeah. So it's so belated. It's one belated birthday and really belated because by the time this oh, comes dude, out we could have bullshitted and said that we recorded this on the 20th. See, now you just gave it all yeah, if I already said it, yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. I got I got no friends or money to celebrate or get drunk with. Just one year, I would like to have a good birthday, friends, girls, gifts, and no fucking worries. Good luck with that, buddy. Uh, it sucks not having friends to have birthday with. It also sucks not having booze or anything else like that, if that's also the problem. I mean, like, it is what it is. Make the best of it for you. Fuck everyone else, dude. Like, yep. turn the wor- turn the world off and make your day the best you can for yourself. Whatever that might be. I don't care if you fucking jerk off three times and take a fucking nap and turn your phone off so no one can bother you. Just don't tell us about that. We don't want to hear about that. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> at bare minimum, deal like be you and only worry about you and your own needs for one fucking day. Let That's it. The world will be there tomorrow, you know. Uh, so it has been a lovely and peachy four months and I don't think July is going to be any better. It won't, but you got to do the best you can, buddy. Life fucking um, sucks. Independence day, baby. You get into, well, he's got no money apparently. So no fireworks, go find a free fireworks show nearby, get drunk. Don't go to jail, but watch some fireworks. I just, I, whenever I want to see my little, just walk I'm out. literally like the 4th of July. I just, I don't know. yeah. Uh, you might have leaned back too far. You're cutting out there. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Now, questions for you guys. And this is a very easy one for you, Ricky. Uh, do you collect Batman comics? Like, old ones? Yes. Okay. I have some. Yeah, because he said specifically Detective Comics from 1991, I guess, is where he's... I have I have the whole, like, the, the Nightfall series, mm. like, in thick trade paperbacks. I have a whole run of the early 2000 stuff, so Batman Eternal. 
and stuff as actual individual comics. And then digitally, I have every Batman comic ever made since Detective Comics uh, 27. Way back when. So mm-hmm. technically, the very yes, first one. Ricky does collect mm-hmm. Batman comics, whether in digital or physical form. Yes. Oh, speaking of Batman comics, I did get my latest hardcover of the uh, Batman White Knights. I still series. need to get into those White Knights, man. That's all of the hardcovers are available on Amazon. Forget about it. They're all Every available. Every time you tell me about it, I forget about it. But I want to read a few of them first to make sure I like it as much as you before I start buying them. Well, the thing is, the hardcovers are like twenty five dollars. <laughs> yeah, but I can read them for free. That's true. But so oh, I'm gonna so, try that first. And so if I like the series, then I'll buy. It. Yeah, and so they did the same thing they did before, where they released the normal hardcover, and then I'll come back and do the deluxe version later. So I have deluxe hardcover, deluxe hardcover, deluxe hardcover. <laughs> like, I don't and because I love the series, I, I do it all. So I know what they're doing. They're waiting until the the current run, which is the uh, Generation Joker short run, is finished, and then they'll do all the Batman White Knight Beyond stuff. All together. See, that works for me that you have both of them because then I can just buy one of your sets for $5 a pop. See? Easy peasy. Why would I sell you the thing I want to collect? Because you'll have the deluxe version, which is already the But I want both. Works. I want both. Yes. I don't think I have. Oh dude, God. I have all the Lucy's. I have the Lucy's, the regular, and the deluxe covers. I just don't have the fucking uh, paperbacks because that's the one that dude, I don't, don't need. Be, don't be that guy. You okay. don't need all the different versions. Yes, I do. I love this fucking comics. I'm I'm pissed that I don't have all the Generation Joker covers because like my store didn't order enough. See, so that ruins your whole set. So just sell- no, I can buy them elsewhere. So it's fine. Okay. Um, also got the newest uh, Power Ranger stuff in too. Oh, and I'm pissed by the way. I'm gonna vent just very quickly. The latest hardcover collection that I got from my Power Rangers things. So the Go Go Power Rangers Volume Two. Half of that book is the shit from fucking Shattered. No, not Shattered Grid. Uh, Necessary Evil Part Two. So. Quick question for you, just so I'm on the same page. Yeah. Do they wear thigh high boots? Do they have bob haircuts? And do they have tassels hanging off their uniforms? No. Because it's not that go-go kind of go go. Because go go Power Rangers <laughs> is the fucking song. Because back because it was the dual comics, Mighty Morphin and then Go Go. So Go Go was the very early days of fucking Power Rangers. So like they they've only literally been a team for like a couple weeks, if that. You know, and they're flashing back to when they like they they get like the uh, nine days after, uh, what do they call it? After, the, whenever Rita first attacked, basically, and when they first got their powers. So like, but like that series is fine, and also they started a new quick series in Power Rangers Unlimited because that's their Elseworld kind of stories, like not main line. So they've already got another spinoff happening at the particular moment, and it's fine. But anyway, moving on. Uh, easy question. It says, do you guys watch Bo- Boilay, Hobby Time, Diorama Builds, or Barbatos Rex Tools and Paint Reviews on YouTube? No. Uh, never heard of either never one. Never heard of either so, one. No. Um, if, I want, if I want painting stuff, I talk to Sean. If I want diorama stuff, I talk to people. Exactly. exactly. And then I have, but those are the main guys. I have other PE I'll reach out and talk to. You know, I've asked Bobby questions, like different people that I know do stuff. I will ask them. But if I'm asking like some in-depth, like intricate thing, those are the two I usually reach out to for different things. Yeah. And then I, I, I follow a bunch of other channels that either do model building or diorama stuff. So, I mean, I've got I've got lots of access to that. Plus, I don't really I don't really follow uh, Gundam related stuff anymore. So like the Barbatos Rex fucking channel now. But I, like I've got I already know, like you said, so many people. Yeah, I guess like I don't. I, I own one. I own one. You have a one Gundam. singular Gundam. You have a Gundam. I have. I have a Gundam. <laughs> okay. Uh, skipping that one because that's a. We'll come back to that on another day. Uh, what's the worst movie and TV show? I'm gonna say and. Hold on. Uh, tell me what the other one was. So I can it's a political care. question. Oh well, then I don't care. Skipping over it. It's all bull. It's all bullshit. Politics is yeah. trash. Both sides are wrong. It, Fuck it's a, all that. It's Bring a. It it's tomorrow. a deeper conversation than we have time to have. We'll go with the shallower okay. conversations for right now, because we're okay. running out of time. So, what's the worst movie slash TV show you've seen in the last six months? Uh, worst movie. What, was She Hulk in the last six months? I think that was December. So no. So. Sh- Oh fuck me, she made yeah, because it didn't finish till in January. Maybe let me check. Because I'll yeah. give you, I'll give you yeah, credit yeah. if it. Uh, let me go if look. If she slides anywhere into this six months, that fucking show is trash. 
Uh, uh, ten seconds of the last episode ran into six months, and I'll be like, that one. Uh, hold on. Ding. Mm, trying to figure out where all the episodes finished. Give me a second. Uh, nope. The Bring whole on. the whole thing was last year. God fucking it damn went, it. It went, from, it went from August I, to October. It sucks so much he gets credit. It's, <laughs> gonna, um, I don't know. Last six months. Like, even, movie-wise? It just means this year, basically. because move, oh, Movie-wise, it's going to be a, a toss-up between Flash and Quantum Mania. That's pretty bad. Because I, I didn't uh-huh. think Quantum Mania was that bad. Okay, so I can tell you right now, the worst movie I definitely saw was Primer. That was a fucking terrible movie. But I mean, like, cool idea for a time travel movie. The movie itself was garbage. It, 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 and, and in my defense, I haven't seen Rise of the Beast yet, so that might be up there too. But that those, that those is those two top of my head. I, I think when it comes to Transformers, we'll probably be closer together than on Marvel things. So I mean, like, Rise of the Beast is definitely not the worst. Not even the worst Transformers. Not the worst. I've heard that they're actually pretty good. Yeah, it's that's not. The, it's not even the worst Transformers that, movie. <laughs> everybody I know that's into the like likes the live action stuff. Mm-hmm or even kind of likes it, says that this plus the nostalgia of the original 2007 are the best movies. Yeah. And then Bumble. It's always like Those 2007, three, yeah. wins. 2007 wins because it was the first one ever. Well, it was definitely the best in Babers. And then the Bumblebee movie and this one will usually alternate back and yeah. forth between seconds. Hell, Dormammu, Dormammu said that this one was as good as the first one. And I was just like, you're crazy. The <laughs> first like, one's not as good as everybody remembers. I mean, I watched the first one there's, a lot. And like to me, it was the best. There's a issue to that movie that drives me nuts, and I can't. I, it, the cutting, I don't know what it is. There's something to it. It's like there's a weird pacing to it. There, it's there, good. There is. There's you're you're not pacing. wrong. There's some. There's some. There's like some stuff that was cut seemingly that didn't make things not make sense. But it was just time, if anything, or useless scenes. But like comparatively, because I said one and two are the best out of the Bayverse because they're the most consistent. After that, it just fucking everything thrown to the wind every goddamn minute. But like first two are the most consistent, and then Bumblebee, and then this one, in my opinion, and everything is below that. And fucking last night is at the bottom of any list anywhere. Um, but last night sits down there with She-Hulk. Like no, She-Hulk is way better than than nope. last night. Way better. The only reason why last night has any points more than She-Hulk is it's at least got characters that I like more. Than She-Hulk, even if it's bad. Or- I was gonna say which characters. <laughs> None of them were good. Like, there wasn't a single good character in that movie. Not yeah, even like Anthony their, Hopkins you know, somehow sucked. The iterations of them in that movie are not great, but they're, the characters in and of themselves I like better. Well, She-Hulk herself like, is great. You just don't like this iteration. I, even if you go to a good iteration of She-Hulk, is still I like a better iteration of Transformers better. That's what I'm saying. Like Comparatively, Transformers ah, are always splitting hairs. She-Hulk. Splitting no. green hairs. No. Uh, she okay, so changed. but TV shows. Okay, hold on. So I can't think of a bad TV show I've watched because I. Oh, so if there's anything, it's something the wife watches and I watch along passively. That's fucking garbage. Usually, how that's going to work because I I choose yeah, bad shows. <laughs> I I pick and choose, and Kara even. Uh, even Lord of the Rings. Cries. I will say Lord of the Rings would probably be was the worst. Bad? It's the worst. Yeah, everybody said it was no, great. No, no, no. But I'm saying if you're saying the worst. Doesn't mean oh, it's bad. Yeah. Doesn't okay. mean it's bad. It means it's the worst. I got you. I would give it, I would say list. it's it, it would Good. be it was it was not a bad show. I get why people are mad at it. hundred percent I get it. Uh but I was one say, that I've never I've never watched one second of. Yeah. And I think you watched some of it. Willow. Oh no, I never watched anything of Willow. I, okay, good. I don't that's that's on there with She Hulk too. <laughs> yeah. I would say she I would say Willow well, oh wait, what was there was something no that, that wasn't a bad I, I show. Like, back, that might actually be lower than She Hulk because at least I took time out of my life to watch Yeah, I you wouldn't even watch that. Willow. So Willow has to be defending the be worse. Less. Um Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. Like, you know, because okay. it didn't have to be new, it's just things that I've watched it, that were bad. It's it's hard to pick bad T V because it's all so you pick and choose what you want. Like, yeah. and if you're telling stuff that I've watched in the last six months, regardless of when it came out, yeah. then that Jack Reacher show on Amazon, I just rewatched it again like a month ago. I yeah. love that fucking. And because on your recommendation, I might get around to watching it. And then Jack Ryan, the the final oh, no, season. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, at yeah. least today. Apparently, I have to watch both first. Jack shows. I have to watch both Jack yeah. shows. But you also, well, Jack. but you have to watch some of of Black Mirror. So, um, no, I don't. For Dante, you do. I just have to watch one episode. He, he told me one that, episode. That qualifies as some. 
out of like 70 episodes one episode counts i think i think there's only 28 episodes i don't give a fuck because i mean the and seasons the are like I'll probably, get into it. I'll probably get into it and actually enjoy it but the way i've listened to people describe it, i'm like well that's just like some tarantino fuck with you because i can't and i don't like that stuff no, it's it's. I mean, it might fuck with your head too much, and you might not want to enjoy. It. But like the, the thing is, it's an anthology series. Uh, but there apparently there is somebody. I just watched a video yesterday. I was talking to Dante. I watched it a video. It all ties together. It does. By like one like, person or one. No, 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 no. Not even that. Not even that. This this video literally laid out every single episode and where it falls in the timeline, and it a hundred percent makes sense. I'm waiting. Keeping talking now while things are happening. I just couldn't hear you because my mom was trying to call through. Even though I have do not disturb oh. turned on, my mom's friend. That explains a lot. She's wondering where the hell you are. Okay. Well, we have dinner at four, so oh, she's yeah. probably calling to say push it back or cancel. Oh, which actually would be useful, so answer. <laughs> no, because I'd have to hang. I think I'd hang up on you if I did that shit. As if it's so hard to come back. Um, I mean, but the. It's uh, kind of a, kind of a drudge. Okay, next uh, <laughs> next question. Do you guys think that Deadpool 3 is going to be any good or is it going to bomb like Thor 4? Uh, no, it's definitely going to be better than Thor 4. It's never going to bomb like Thor 4, but I don't think it's going to be as good as the first because no matter what Disney fucking says, Disney is still Disney and they will Disney this. I mean, and it's at least allowed to be getting, rated R. But it's a Disney rated R, which is not the same thing. Yeah, and but it's Marvel rated R, not Disney. More important is, is as much as I like the Deadpool movies... I, I kind of get where Joe comes from with his hate of Deadpool now because of all the, the normies that are into Deadpool. I'm tired of hearing Deadpool. Oh, Deadpool's the best comic person ever. I'm like, tell me when you read your book of Deadpool. And they're like, oh, back when the first movie came out, I got my... I don't care. Stop talking. It just made it mainstream. Yeah. And I don't like that. And that and uh, Ryan Reynolds is pretty great at marketing. Like He, that, he, he is a genius. Smart. He's a fucking it's genius. Him, him and his PR people are great at marketing. Like I, I, I almost want to switch to Mint Mobile just so I can say I Same. have Ryan Reynolds because I love his fucking market. But I don't want to drink his gin though. No, the problem with like Deadpool two is specific was he showed his hand a lot. Like, you knew ahead of time what was going to be happening in the movie because they were talking about it openly. Very, like, he was spoiling his own movie. Yeah. Like, spoiler alert, his own movie. And it's going to be the same thing with this. We already know it's going to be him and Hugh Jackman, Jackie Jackman. Well, in like, theory. the movie's not even being made yet. It's just been greenlit. And now it's on pause because of the writer's strike. Yeah. Well, that's good, and, though, because it could on, be made worse by pause. the writer's strike. Yes, because it's on pause because of how good Ryan Reynolds is as dead. Yeah. Yeah, because they won't let him continue without the fucking writers on set. And it's just like, no, God damn it. Well, that's, be that's because, I, where did I see? It was like 70% or 75% of the dialogue from the up on. Like, it was some crazy amount. Like, it was just. Well, they had a whole entire script, but then they just let him free, like, riff yeah. as he was going. Well, yeah. This, kept, it, 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 it's like framework. Well, it's like what they did with Ragnarok. Most of Ragnarok's stuff was also ad libbed. Like it's kind of yeah. like some specific Fuck lines. The the, yeah, they said like literally that's just how what Taika Waititi does, but also explains why Thor four was probably so bad. But like, keep talking. Kara's coming out here to tell me, so I'm assuming my mom just called. Okay, so. probably yeah. But I think I don't think it's going to be that bad. I don't think it's going to be anywhere near that bad. I think it'll be perfectly fine. So uh, I, I think that the only problem is that everything's getting pushed back due to writer strikes and then like the Jonathan major situation, which is apparently starting to turn around very quickly. So phase five and six and seven will be as affected, but it's just, I think the thing is like, there's so much information out there about Deadpool three that like, okay, what is going to be real? What's not going to be real. He can make his video with Hugh Jackman on set, but like, Ryan Reynolds is the kind of guy who would have like 85 actors come on set and then not use any of their shit just so people literally had no idea what the movie actually would contain. What's the news? Uh, so she pushed it back to 4.30, which means we don't have to leave before, so I'm good okay. until about 10 till because it takes me like five minutes. Got it. So we'll, we'll we can at least finish this. But I, th I think the Deadpool yep. 3 will be okay. It just won't be as good as it... Well, I, you know what? I'm not, I'm not even going to shit on it yet. There's no reason to shit on not, it yet. Like, not shitting on it. Yeah. We're, we're we're making we're making logical guesses and deductions based on the the parts that are given right now, and if Deadpool one and two were good, then this was good. 
but we know how Disney likes to do things to movies, so that brings this one down to probably slightly less than I, that for now. Until I, we see more as it gets closer. Yeah, but I think that if it's the same creative team, it'll be just as good. That's a, I think it'll be in the same. I think it'll be it'll be good enough that the tr- will be enjoyable. It's not going to be yeah. like episode nine. Like it's going to be at least doable. Because yeah, because I cause I'll tell you right now, Ryan Reynolds will not let them put out a shitty Deadpool movie. I mean, Ryan Reynolds. If if, if he wants a shitty movie, it'll be shitty. Yeah. But he's not going to let them right. make a shitty movie. See, and that's the thing about him is he would tell you up front. He's like, "We're going to make a shitty movie." Yeah. And we're going to do it on purpose just to see what happens. Yeah. Like, that's he would, the one thing and you would, about. and you would know about it. You. you would know about it every step of the way. Months in advance. Of, yeah. Months in advance, he'd be putting out pictures of how stupid it is. Yeah. And, and pre- like I'm, I'm waiting for when it actually goes into production. Yeah. Like all these, like he loves to play off of zeitgeist jokes shit that's happening around the shit yeah. stuff. The writer so strike waiting, will be an act, the writer strike will be that's in the movie. Be a joke. He'd be that's like, be part of it, the, joke. the movie will stop because they and don't I have think, another line. And I will bet you dude. dollars and donuts right now. He's gonna have another dude. I know what's gonna uh, happen. Prediction: a gag, a gag with the crappy CG. Yeah. Like they yes, there will be a really and bad, then, really bad CG. And, gonna, and it's gonna cut in, and like the director, will break and talk to the audience. Well, we did this because this is how. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. That. But I, I guarantee, like, hold on, not guarantee. Prediction for the movie because of the writer mm-hmm. strike. There will be a scene where every actor or every character except Deadpool stops talking and stops doing everything. And he'll be like, what the fuck's wrong with you guys? And he'll just be standing there. And then he'll be, he'll look over. He's like, there's another writer strike, isn't there? And then he'll walk yeah. off and go do another scene. Like he'll go off and do that a scene. By, he'll do a scene movie. on his own. He'll do a scene on his right. own. There better be him doing like Shakespeare in the park. Yeah. It'll be just him doing Shakespeare. Yeah. He's like, go off and do some shit on his own instead. But all I, I was like, I kind of want a free guy reference in there. Just for fun, because Free Guy nah. was such a good movie. Um, Free Guy was enjoyable. Yeah, I, I want a reference, but I don't need it to be a big thing. I want, I want, to, I want him to be like a, a thing, like a, a movie ad or something. Like when he's running along the wall, he starts getting points building up yeah. above his head or some shit. Well, yeah. well, I mean, it could just be a movie poster, you know, mm-hmm. something, you know, kind of like how Ryan Reynolds exists in this universe. Little Easter egg, you know, Ryan, because yeah. Ryan Reynolds exists, so why not? But then yeah. again, are there going to be any issues to his time traveling from the end of two? So who knows. He, no, he, 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 he went back it, and he, he killed Hitler. Or is everything? <laughs> but he, I mean, he went back and he killed Hitler. He killed. He it's killed like, himself. It'd be funny if he did like a cold opening of the movie. Yeah. Look, a lot of people had all these questions post the movie, post my last adventure. Yeah. And I want to go ahead and run them down. And then at the very end, of the movie, all this can be explained by multiverse. Now that we're done talking about that, let's just go. On. Probably. <laughs> like, like, like that. That it's, it's see, funny that's why it should be good. <laughs> That's why it should yeah. be good. Now they have like yeah. if he has a Kang reference instead of Thanos, like so mm-hmm. be like, man, he's beating up his girlfriend like Kang over there, and then like just completely Nope. You saw that was gone. I know. Well gone for now. We'll see. I mean no, I'm no, I'm like, behind, no like, I mean I'm on hundred percent he's the not girlfriend the girlfriend's been arrested now for a false accusation. Yes, and that's great, and that's fantastic. I yep. love all of the news around what ha- what's happening with Jonathan Majors. Me too, because but, I remember I said it. If he did it, put his ass under yeah. jail. If he didn't and, and bring him back because I loved him, and, loved him in that one World War or Korean War movie. That yeah. movie. Oh, was did you watch that? So oh my god, that movie made me cry. I haven't Dude, watched it yet. I need to watch that. Fucking amazing! You want to see that man be a good actor? There's one part in the movie. It's not really a spoiler because they showed part of it in one of the previews for it. Uh-huh. But he he has like this little black notebook that and just and mind you, I didn't know until I watched this. Movie. It's all based on a true story. This yeah, all this it's shit all true story. Yeah. Yeah, um, he had the guy had a little black notebook that anytime while he was in the military, somebody would say something racist to him, mm-hmm. he'd write it down. Oh, damn. Or if somebody or if he got like Passover promotion because of his race, he'd write it down. And so to keep himself centered and keep himself uh, from getting big headed or from and to take the power away from people that continually did this stuff. He would literally sit in the bathroom in front of a mirror and just repeat this stuff back to himself verbatim mm. and just keep reminding himself that it's just words and it's, it, they can't really hurt me with them if I don't let type stuff, right? Yeah. His acting, it's just him standing in front of a mirror. You see him go from crying to angry to sad to, to depressed to happy to back. You just across his face, all these emotions play. And it is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in a movie. 
was his skill at acting just in his face. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Watch uh, it. Go watch. I it. will. I I intended to watch it. I just hadn't. I didn't. It's know on the it. HBO. Or I, I'm sorry. It's on Max. Oh, so I still haven't signed up for Max. I need to do that. Convert. Nah. I need to convert mm-hmm. to Max. Waiting. Where? Come on, Peacock. Get behind it. Okay. So yeah. Um, uh, so that he did, show was so funny. Yeah, so he does say, I hope you guys get your schedules together. I'm working on it. Good uh, luck with that shit. Yeah, working on it. <laughs> um, let's see, uh, rating for the podcast. Not going to list by episode. Said the average rating is 8.85. So that's pretty good. He likes the podcast. He said, right. even though there were bad ones, they're still at that rating. He says episode 58, which I'm guessing he means 57, was uh, 8.9. So that, 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 was, that was the last one you were on. Uh, what did we talk about on that one? Uh, fuck, I don't know. It was three weeks ago. Oh, okay. Two, two weeks ago. Two weeks. Like I said, we did too many back to back. Like so, I did the one with Alan. I did the one with Dante. Did the one with you and Mike. And then I did the one with uh, Dormammu and and uh, fucking Rusty. Rusty. So like, but were those all mainstream numbered ones, or were those all those, the the Alan one? Uh, the Dante one was the only extra. The rest of them were all main okay. numbers. That was gotcha. so. Alan was fifty six. Uh, you guys were 57, then last week's would drop today was 58 slash 59, and then this is the actual 59. So so I don't know if he means that or if he's talking about the time travel episode because he called it episode 58. So, okay. so this one this one is actually 59 with a writer's strike. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, what it should have been was 59 was, was uh, issued by, or was taken down by the writer's strike. Uh, okay so since we do have a little bit more time i'll do this movie rating thing that he gave us which will be easy because i haven't seen most of these you might not have seen most of these too so on a one to ten scale we're doing yeah one out of ten okay uh prometheus uh like a 7.5 yeah i'd say roughly there too yeah seven seven and a half the only Uh, thing that brings it down is by them trying to force it to be an alien like, yeah, it was a, I'm glad that it was a great movie. Yeah, if they'd left that aliens tie-in part out, I'm fine with all of the aliens tie-in because it was meant. I'm fine. I'm fine with it, yeah. but that's what brings points down in my. Book. I, I'm I'm fine with it. I like it because I wanted prequel to Alien was great. Mm-hmm. So then he has Alien Covenant right behind that. Uh, I liked most of it. I didn't like the hybriding part of it. I thought that was kind of dumb. Um, but I did love the two Davids. Like I love that yeah. concept of a good evil Android. Yeah. David and, uh, I forgot what the other one's name was. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I'd say what rating wise though. Uh, I give that one a slightly worse than the first a seven. Mm, I'd yeah. give it, I'd probably, because of the, they expanded on what they did with Prometheus, I'd probably give it a, uh, the same or slightly higher. I go. So no. if I give Prometheus a seven, I'll give Covenant a seven point five because it also is leading into the alien universe finally and actually kind of giving a backstory to the Xenomorphs, which is fine. No. It may not be comic accurate, but it's movie accurate, so I'm okay with that. Um 'cause got oh, by the way, I have some of the new alien comics. I haven't read them yet. I've they've been sitting out there. Marvel Marvel did a new alien comic. Um uh Tremors seven. I haven't watched anything except so, the first I've seen I've, never watched I've seen Shrieker Island. Oh boy. Uh it's a fucking There's Sharknado level of shit. It's not Sharknado bad. Uh well Well first of all, Sharknado is amazing, so watch your oh. But in general, Sharknado's technically bad. So, <laughs> so it's mm, no, I guess that's not fair. Sharknado had a pretty solid story. Shrieker Island was really fucking bad. So I would call it uh, because Bert also dies. Spoiler: um, Bert, Bert is the dad from Family Ties, right? Yes. Took me a second okay. to get that didn't reference. He, didn't he die in real life? I think the actor is finally dead. Yes. Okay. Uh, I say finally because he died as the character. So I think yes. Okay. I think the actor died. Um, but no, that that movie was garbage. That movie was definitely hot garbage. It was probably like a four at best on a good drunken day. It was bad. Oh, okay. CGI was terrible. Mostly the shit was at night. Acting was horrendous. The movie was shot terribly. Hated most of the actors except for Burt coming back. But the fact they actually kill him was pretty bad. So no, calling it a four at best. And I need to be gotcha. drunk for it to be a four. Uh, some of the other Tremor sequels are actually pretty good, despite the bad CGI and stuff. But like some of the, they're they're usually fun, dumb movies. This one was just bad. 
Uh, Dark Tower. Never watched it. Um, I love Idris Elba and pretty much everything he's in. So I loved him in that movie. And I loved Matthew McConaughey and pretty much everything he does. So I loved that movie. The movie itself was very weird and choppy and jump around y. And I'm not even a Dark Tower. I don't think I've ever read any of the Dark Tower series. Um, I read a lot of Stephen King when I was younger, but never the Dark Tower series. So I know friends of mine that are like, huge Stephen King nuts. They said this movie is trash. Okay. Yeah. But the movie in and of itself, it was very, again, it was another one of those pacing things. Like it jumped a lot. Yeah. And, but Matt McConaughey did a great job in it. And, uh, I just hope it did a great job in it. So, give so us, I mean, it's watchable. Give it a number. Uh, let's just say five. It's watchable. Nothing great and amazing, but nothing that's going to break your brain for watching it. So, just for reference, you said The Flash is five and a half. Yeah, okay. same thing. Okay. The bat, but, but remember, remember what I said. Yeah, but you're rating it. Up. You're you're rating it by what makes it good. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, I'm just, but I'm I'm applying reference for anybody who for some reason forgot that. Yeah, so just remember on it, and this is one thing everybody forgets. Seven is trash. No, five just means it's average. Five means it's five is right down the middle. One. Yeah, yeah, and people forget that they're like anything under. No, that's mm. not how a ten scale works. Five just means it's a movie. You can. I wouldn't go out of my way for it. Some it's movie. On, yeah, if, if it's on, I might watch it. It's yeah. one of those type things. I'm slightly above that, I might go a little bit out of my way. Like if it's available on streaming and I don't have to hunt for it, I'd watch it. Okay. Like it's one of those type things. Gotcha. So uh, another one in here, Venom Two. Let, uh, let there be carnage. I never saw it. I, I loved Harrelson, of course. I loved Tom Hardy. I still hate the Venom design. I know that they're trying to keep the Spider-Man shit separate, which is stupid. Um, yeah, because then they still try to force it into the Spider-Man very end during the post-credit scene. Um, and I love Carnage. Carnage was always one of my favorite villains as a kid comic and uh i love the design of them i hated the fact that they they fucking do everything that every other super movie does here's a great villain let's kill him before the hour and a half mark and they do that shit and i hate that yep so i would give it give that's another one of those 5.5s like i would watch it if it's on streaming you don't have to pay for extra for it you don't have to and you got nothing else better to watch that's that's it's one of those type movies gotcha uh, he says a Magnificent Seven, but I don't know which one. Yeah, I'm gonna assume he means the the newer one. Most people don't talk about that one as much anymore. Um, the old one falls under the our previous conversation about like those old spaghetti western type things. I'm not a fan of that that genre, mm-hmm. but I do like modern western, and I really did like this is the one with Chris Pratt and Denzel Washington. Yeah, I I liked it. I thought it was really which... good. The action was really good. It was shot really. Good. That I would give that. That's probably a seven. Okay. It, it was it's a magnificent seven. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh never saw it. Just never got around to it. Nothing against it. Just well, never saw it. I think you'd enjoy it. It's like I probably it's like would. Those, I'm just lazy. It's like, yeah. it's, it's like one of those tombs, Yeah, it's like one of those tomb style tombstone style tomb style. western. But it has more action. Of course it's way it's more It's way action. more actiony, yeah. I'm just waiting yeah. for Rust. That's all. I'm just waiting to watch Rust. Um that's that's gonna be my western of the decade. Yeah. I don't. That's going to be a hard movie to sell after all this. That's. Gonna, I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of scene pausing to see if I can see the moment the real bullet fire. They're gonna. The, I wouldn't. I would not. I. It would not surprise me if they eliminated that the, scene entirely. The whole entire thing. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, next one. I think I've heard of, but I've never. Not even come close to seeing Greenland, or Greenland. I've never. Never heard of it. Doing, so. a, doing a Google. Let me do a Google. We don't have our Canadian. I've heard Google of the. Machine. I've heard of the country. I've never heard of it. It was from 2020. I think it was an Oscar movie. Oh, this is the one with Gerard Butler. Don't know. Never heard of it. Uh, John Garrity. Why does that name sound familiar? John Garrity, his estranged wife, and their young son embark on a perilous journey to find sanctuary as a planet-killing comet hurtles towards the Earth. Mid terrifying accounts of cities being leveled, the Garrity's experience... The best and worst in humanity as the countdown to the global apocalypse approaches zero. Their incredible trek culminates in desperate last minute flight to an impossible to a possible safe haven. Wow, literally have never heard of this. I don't remember this at all. And it only made uh, uh didn't make it cost thirty five million. Wow, that's a pretty small fucking movie. Never heard of it. Never heard so of next, it. Next next movie. Oh, sounds interesting. 
I mean, it sounds Armageddon y. Yeah. So that sounds like one of those ones if I run across and I got nothing better to do. Who is his wife? Is it? That... Oh, it's Marina Bacaran. That's weird. Second time she's come up today. Um, And then, uh, let's see here. Pixels. I've seen Pixels. Is that Adam Sandler movie? Yeah. That movie's fucking stupid, but it's it's awesomely stupid. It's a good it's movie, fucking though. Dumb, but... Yeah, it's awesomely dumb, but it, it's a dumb movie. I give that. Is, that's a, easily a seven, probably. Like, no fucking way. Dude, that's it's like it's a, better than just a movie to watch. Like, cause like, I, I again, I wouldn't go out of my way, but if it was there on a platform, I'd watch it. It was it dude. was enjoyable if you have nostalgia for any of the shit in it. But the movie, the story is stupid. Okay. Okay, so and, and it's definitely an Adam Sandler movie. Like, yeah. and when I say Adam Sandler movie, I mean like the old school Adam Sandler movies. It definitely had like the Happy Gilmore vibes type shit to it. it yeah, it wasn't that. It wasn't as silly, but like mm -hmm. the Pac Man scene. It wasn't as silly. No, not not, one, not Happy that, Madison. That not Happy Madison. Not silly. Yeah, it was that level. No, it was definitely that level. No. I think. It, it, Dude, homeboy hooking up with the hot chick, and you find out it's just Cuber reformed to somebody else, and they obviously bang because they have no Cuber baby. That shit's fucking happy Gilmore all goddamn day long. Maybe, but like I liked, uh, I like, uh, uh, damn it, I had his name until I started thinking about it. Um, Miyamoto. No, I like Miyamoto being in there talking to fucking trying to talk, talk Pac-Man Pac -Man yeah. down, and then he gets eaten, which is or almost yeah. gets eaten, and he gets his hand eaten yeah. regardless. But no, uh, what's his face? Uh, Tyrion Lannister. Oh yeah, he, he, uh, the king. He's and he's the king of Kong. And he, Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage. Yes, I loved yeah. him in that movie. Like, yeah, I was like, no, I was like, I think like, I liked that movie. I did. I thought it was going to be really, really bad. So I red boxed it, and I enjoyed it. Like I was like, this is actually a good movie. Like it was enjoyable, but it's not a great movie. It's like I, I've me, paid more. Me. I've paid more. I paid money. Paid money for worse movies. Same, but and not so on like, purpose. Well, I mean, like, not on purpose. No, pay, paid never, like I, real money, never, like gone to the fucking yeah. theater and but seen But not worse. with the intent of watching a worse movie. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, like, if if we're going by like just an average movie, it's above average. It's not yeah, ridiculously I, good, I but it's above average. I paid almost hundred dollars to see Ragnarok because it was me, the wife, and kid. So, but I have definitely paid money to see a worse movie. But we but are we 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 have very differing opinions on Ragnarok, yeah. so that's fine. Not Ragnarok, uh, Love and Thunder. I mean, sorry. Okay, well, Love yeah, we have very similar opinions on Love yeah. and Thunder, but yeah. Love it, Love and only, Love and Thunder the only is thing like about Love and Thunder was Batman. Everything like, else was trash. Like Love and Love and Thunder, because I don't think we number rated it. I would say Love and Thunder is like a four and a half on a. It's better than Tremor Seven, but I'm gonna give and it there's the good and there are good things in that movie. I'm gonna give it the exact same ranking as I did Flash for the same exact reason. Because the best parts of that movie were Batman okay. and everything else. So honest, que <laughs> so fair point. But honest question: Which one would you watch again? Between Love and Thunder and, and Flash, and Flash, probably Flash. Yeah, as like I would think so too. But like, skip, skip the stupid had parts. Some cool stuff. Like yeah. it had cool concepts. It was just really bad CGI without the Batman yeah. and stuff. This was you take Batman out of Love and Thunder, and yeah. it was just. I, I, like it was, there's nothing redeemable about Love and Thunder do, except for Bane. So I'll or, put it, uh, Bale. Yeah. So I'll put it this way. I think the Flash could be fixable with just fix like fix the CGI, CGI's. fix the CGI, yeah. and maybe edit some of the shit a little bit from what I've heard. Like just like some things, just fucking get rid of it. Mm -hmm. But like you could fix what's there. Thor four, you can't fix it with what's there. You can only nothing. fix it with what's missing entirely. Like that's the problem with Thor four, and that's the way I would look at it, it that it, way. It's a uh, uh, Taiko Wachiti twister. Like yeah. that dude just makes trash movies. He, I don't give a fuck. What he he says. doesn't I make trash him. movies. He made trash Marvel movies. And uh, he was in Free Guy, and I hated him too. But but I, he, but I liked guy. him in Free Guy because he was playing an asshole you're supposed to hate. I don't think he was playing an asshole. I think that was just. Well, that's what I'm getting at. That's what, that's what I'm getting at. He was just being him on screen. And so, like, we already dislike him, so might as well. Like, no, he's playing... Literally, like, the whole point of that was he was purposely making something good shittier. That dude's just trash. He needs to stop making... Yeah. Him, him and M. Night Shyamalan and Dingo. No, he just needs to, he needs to stay away from certain genres of movies. Like, go make your type of movie. Stop taking genre movies and making them your way. 
Like that's that's what, like and and like the filmmaking process probably fine, but his writing, quote unquote, is the problem that does not apply to every genre. Like go make go make some quirky little side fucking movie about characters nobody cares about cuz he also did like Jojo Rabbit, which is actually supposedly a really good fucking movie. But it has so nothing anyways, but it's a non-genre movie. We're on, we're on a clock. Next. I think that's it. Other than the political, the other one? than the political question, that was the last movie one. That was yeah. That was oh yeah. Sorry yeah. That was the last. That was a random selection of movies, but yes, that was the end of the movie rankings. All right. And I'll say I'll, back together. I'll say you know you're gonna have a better political conversation like Mike. Well, we need we need Mike. more people like, involved. It's all yeah. Fucking trash. It's all stupid. Burn it all down. Bring back the monarchy. Fuck the rest of it. No, don't bring back the monarchy. The monarchy. Yes, because yeah, then you have one fucking person to blame, and that motherfucker's gonna act right, or he's gonna get fucking assassinated. They know how to fucking act right. Yeah, we can do that anyways. Um, uh, hold on, wait. Uh, I don't think I read... Yeah, okay, I didn't read this, so he, the way his uh, his ending here. Looking forward to hearing the next podcast. Shit here, shit, here comes another fucking neighbor wanting me to do something for them. They better fucking pay this time. I'm done helping for free. Yeah. Charge yeah. up front, dude. Charge Tell them the for it. Before you... Tell, tell them the price before you open your door. Just talk to them through the people. Be like, look, dude, I'm not coming out there for anything less than 50 bucks. Especially in this <laughs> Fuck 50 bucks. I mean, if it's like real fucking repairs, no, that's real money. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying just to come look at it. That's yeah. like his fee. Just oh, to come look, look at, at it. Yeah, yeah. It's his diagnosis <laughs> fee. Yeah. But, like, and the thing Fuck is, if they're not even helping, like, if they're helping, they don't need to be charged much. Like, mm -hmm. like just for, if you're doing it if alone, somebody's, money. If somebody's helping. Look, if somebody's helping, the price is the parts of the the cost the, the cost of parts, mm -hmm. and then like food and case drinks. of beer, lunch, yeah. something. That's, work, that's, depending on the work. That's that's if you're helping. If you're not helping, you're then hiring me as an employee. You're gonna fucking pay me. No, no, fuck that, a contract worker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, nip. You need me for the day to help this? Okay. Here's my price mm -hmm. per day. Here's my flat rate. Here's yep. my flat rate per day. And like you know, having that fucking heavy ass turbo dropped on your hand. Mm -mm. If it's if it's yeah. that guy asking for help, tell him to fuck off. Tell him to go to a yeah. tuner shop like he should do. Well, it's good to hear from you, Jay, man. Yes, uh, definitely. Still positive thoughts and, and shit for your mom. I hope everything turns out okay with that one. Shit gets less for you, dude. You I can hope, always jump in here and talk shit to us. I hope July gets. Now. I hope July is a turnaround for you in one way or the other. Either shitty neighbors or your mom or having money. Uh, yeah, there you go. Nope. You're complaining about not having money. You definitely need to charge your fucking neighbors. Nope. All the things. All the things. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Fucking break job. Fucking charge them. Yep. You know, if a break job's 100 bucks at Midas, charge them 50. Yep. You know, put money in your right. fucking pocket. You're, you're getting the friends and neighbors discount, but you ain't get it for free. Yeah, especially so. if you, if I got to go do real work to fucking make something happen. Shit, I charge myself for working on my own car. <laughs> that's just, so, that's good just, to see that's you back, and I'm glad you survived the last shitty months, man. I hope it gets better. Yeah, it's been a while. We need more write-ins, too, from other cool people like Jay. So by all means, if you have questions like that, whether it's whether it's just venting at us about your life or you got just you know all those kinds of random questions there, like that alone it was almost its own episode, um, which we've done an entire episode just reading a Jay email. So um, yep. by all means, you can write in at the email down below. It does say, now you made it awkward, mail at gmail.com. So you can do that. You can definitely write in. Um, Remember... WWJD, write what Jay does, people. <laughs> write what Jay does. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second, but yes, it's actually true. And we will get to the political question later when it's not just me and Ricky. Because uh, yeah. it, it's, it's, I mean, it's not a huge one, but it, it is something that but definitely is worth discussing. Even yeah, if but, it's just a two of us, I have a time crunch. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. It, it's, I, it's, my, mom, my mom bitches for hours about stupid shit. I don't need to add to it. it Dude, okay, so last thing here. Walked into the hospital yesterday late because of traffic, and my mom's already bitching. Did you go home first before coming up here? And I'm like, yeah, I wanted, I've been fucking out in the heat all day. Yes, I went home to shower. I've been working. What did you want? Sweaty taint ass into the hospital? Yeah, I was like, I stunk. It was bad. And so, but the problem was, I got stuck in fucking traffic out here because of construction. I had two ways to choose, I chose wrong. If I had gone, the, <laughs> if I had gone the other way, it would have saved me probably twenty five minutes. I Indiana guess. Jones shout out. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Don't even get me started on the fucking movie. Apparently, so and okay. Talk, talk, talk about divisive oh, movies. Oh, oh, fuck! Real quick on my weeks, I forgot to add in. 
I finally got to watch Indiana Jones with it's like they saw Raiders of the Lost Ark. And then on Father's Day, we saw the best father-son movie. We watched The Last Crusade. So they finally got to watch some Indiana Jones. I still skipped Temple Doom because I still think that might be a bit much for the youngest. But we watched those two. They asked me about Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. I told them you're completely on your own, but free to watch it because I'm never watching that again unless y'all force me to. So they know that if they ask me, I will watch it. But I told them they're allowed to watch it without me. So that way we're geared up for this last one. I don't give a shit how shitty everybody says this movie is. It's going to be the last time we ever get a proper Indiana Jones theater. And I want to take my kids. And I want the John Williams and surround sound. I want all the good stuff. There's, there's going to be more in the future. No, no, no. But, but not, not, with not proper ones. That's there, what I'm saying. Not proper from, ones. From if, the... Even if they use him, they'll be using like a de-aged him with, yeah. you know, his robot voice like they're doing with Vader now. So I'm not... This will be the last big hurrah for Indiana Jones. Which actually, apparently, they did not do enough of for the young indie scenes in this movie. They didn't de-age mm-hmm. his voice. <laughs> so he sounds like old-ass Harrison Ford, but looks young. It's fucking. That's the one thing that people said uh, was weird. It's like, they should have de-aged his voice, at least. That would have made more sense. <laughs> like, cause, Took some of that gravel out of his throat. They definitely should have taken the gravel out, because he sounds like he's 80, and, and but he looks like he's 40, you know? So, but I'm like, looking forward to that one because so I've I've heard great. I've heard very mixed reviews on it. I, it, I don't. I, that, you know that, how but, I feel about it. But you know how normally like with movies like this, it's like one way usually. The, but yeah. the reviews have been mixed. Like, and the but, fact that it's mixed makes me think it's probably not as bad as everybody's saying. But I also look at it as some people can't forgive very specific things, and the other people forgive everything. So that's that's usually what it, it looks like. Is like it, huh? it almost political. So. But yeah, that's it. That's it for this episode today. We're good. Um, like, subscribe, okay, do all the things, and then yeah, it's like I gotta at least do the some kind of an outro. Okay, go. fine, do an outro. So yes, go follow Ricky at all the things, and you can follow me at all the things. You can follow Rusty at the things when no, you find no, 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 no. Fuck the rest of them. Fuck the rest of them. When, We're the only ones when, here. When they Rusty gets back to doing things, once his face clears up, because he's got the fucking they don't face do, crud. Nope. No, we don't do shout outs unless you're on the show. But we, we got to talk about shit. Rusty's infected face. I don't talk about nothing because Rusty's not a real person living in a fake country in my world. So, nope. Fine. He's got fake He's got fake space crud on his face. <laughs> space crud. So, happy anniversary to the fucking Realm Hatton Project. Yep. Good for them. One year. I know y'all be late for it, but hopefully y'all saw it by the time this. Yeah, it's like literally, it's like saying this is a week later. <laughs> yep. So if you guys were there, let us know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, let us know what you in the future. About it. Let us know what if, the best and worst parts of Rome Hatton Project, if, whatever if number you didn't it like is. It, go fuck yourself. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, whatever the number of it is. So I don't think we actually keep track of numbers. We could, technically it should be twenty six because it's every other week. Cause... It should be twenty six or twenty seven, yeah. right? But I think we've had to skip a couple. And yeah, talk about number. Back. Your y'all's numbers are even more fucked up than ours here. Not really. Because we don't keep track, so we don't care. Well, somebody's going to bring them. <laughs> nah, um, maybe one of them went back and did it. I didn't even. Hold I on. don't watch them. Realm had I'm, I'm there live at the show. I don't need to watch them. I know what happened on the show. I was there. Oh, no, maybe they're not numbered. I thought they were. Oh, these are all the Hangouts. Wait, where are the regular yeah, episodes? That's... Oh, that's weird. Oh, maybe it's just because you've done a lot of Hangouts should, recently? Should be every other one. That's is. odd. Yeah. Are you all on a playlist here somewhere? I don't fucking know. I don't. I, again, I don't watch our videos. I'm... Oh, that's weird. Y'all's is the only show that does not have a playlist. They don't love nice. you guys. They don't love you guys enough. Yeah. Also, I forgot you don't Probably have your a... own channel. <laughs> that's the other thing I forgot. Probably a like... whole. Yeah, it's on the yeah the round channel. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I thought I don't know why I thought you guys. No, there's um, Realm Hatton Project episode one. What? Why are the and plus, too, we also got Whoa. fucked up because Wait. our first two or three actual episodes got yanked by YouTube. Uh, we uh, fought it, oh. and one of them got put back. That's why it has a re-up. Never mind. Figured it out. Figured out the problem. I was looking at videos, not lives, because that's the way they separate this shit. I was like, why does it only show one video for you guys? I thought your shit got yanked. No, you do have episode numbers. Episode 25 was your last numbered one. So this will See, be episode cool. 26. There you go. You were correct. If, if, sort of. Yeah, 
math should work that way. There's just two weeks in a year. We do it every other week. 26 yeah. sounds about right to me. Yeah, but if you were to follow our episode releases over on uh, Spotify or something like that, we legit have like 98 episodes, even though we don't. I've already said that shit. Man. But on YouTube, we nuts. don't. That's a, on, on the YouTube release, we don't, especially now because I don't split shit up. So either yeah. way. All right, guys. We have we have as much as or more extra episodes than we have actual regular episodes. Oh, no, that's that's, that's not possible. Like it's probably what number, it's, what number did you say we were at this episode number? This is 58 or fit. Yeah, this is this, 59. This is, 50, this is 59. And we have and 96. We have so we don't have. So that means almost the exact same amount of extras as regular shows. And that's just because you stopped doing extra episodes about three months ago. If you hadn't stopped doing that, we'd be well past it. Yeah. But it was easier mm-hmm. to not edit that much shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I get the reasoning. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying well, if you kept up the piece we were doing. Because now if I want to cut it out, it just goes to Patreon. Yep, see? Which, mm-hmm. by the way, go sign up for the Patreon. Or don't. Do it. We need <laughs> more people it. on the Patreon. Need more patrons. Do it or we're going to have Alan send you pictures of his ass. Definitely don't need more <laughs> of that. I'm just going to have every Alan episode on Patreon. Either way, yeah, just be, in case. <laughs> let's do the K-bye since someone has to go to dinner. Yeah, oh, man. K-bye. Okay, K-bye. Bye. Rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats 